What you, what you doing out in these streets, slave rule? What you doing out in these streets? What you doing out? What you, what you doing out? What you, what you doing out in these streets? What you doing out in these streets, slave rule? We in these streets. Well, okay, let me some put this. It, we recording right? Okay, we recording. You <laughs> ask me how they get into this running? Yes, thing. please. <laughs> this was the most random. Have you got? Have you got volume? Have you got volume? Okay, we got volume. Yeah. Okay. This is the most random uh, ever, David. Oh. I usually get to the gym like mm. 10 past 5. And I would usually do like just a warm up mm. outside the gym. I would run and just for a warm up, just like a little jogging, you know, just to get the yeah. blood flowing before I start start gymming now. Mm. So blood flowing. So one day, randomly, I was load shedding uh -huh. and the gym was. I got there early like usual. Uh -huh. And uh, it was low shedding. They said they can't open the gym yet until the generator kicks in. Wait, okay, six. okay. So I was like, okay. So everyone was bitching and moaning about low shedding and mm -hmm. how the gym is closed and plus sitting in the cars. And yeah, waiting for six o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I just continued to keep running. Uh, oh, in the parking lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was keep running, right? I was going to say, we're not going to die. I'm going to die all the time. Exactly. He's a kid, bro. He's going to die every time. Every time he's going to die. Exactly. It's the most random guy. And then, yeah, and then I just what happened? Um, yeah, and this random thought was like, mm -hmm. I wonder if I can run a marathon. Uh. Randomly, so I was like, "When is the Kato Marathon?" Yes. And I knew it was. I, did, I, knew, I knew it didn't happen yet. Yeah. And um, after gym, I asked my buddy, who was on the podcast, mm -hmm. Rodney. Rodney, shout out to Rodney. He, I asked him, "When is the Kato Marathon?" Mm -hmm. So he checks. So he says, it's "This and this date." I think it was a. I think it was October something. Yeah. So I was like, "Okay," and I just signed up. Uh. <laughs> Without knowing what to do. And when, when, when was this? When did you make that decision? It was July. July? Yeah. And you had July. to train for October? Yeah. Sure. And I just said. And you just signed up without even starting your I practice. Knew folk all day. Yeah. I knew folk, and I just signed up. So I was like, if I'm going to. While you committed if now. I'm going to learn how to run. Yeah, I already spent five months. I mean, man. you I have to. Signed up, yeah. Even if you just count there and walk, bro, you're going to be there. <laughs> but, but that's what I learned, man. Like, when you get an idea, just do it. Uh, Don't overthink it. Uh, just do it. The moment he said it, this date, I signed up. I didn't even ask him anything about running. I just yeah. signed up. Then I, then I asked him questions. Okay, oh. so how do you run? Okay, <laughs> okay so how do I do this? How do I run? <laughs> no cuck. He, he, just, he just told me, like, just start practicing now. Yeah. That's all he said. Yeah. So I just did. So I started practicing. Yeah. Practicing. Yeah, yeah. But I practicing wrong. Your practice, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I got injured a whole, a whole bunch of guys. I, I thought I fucked up my knees so bad. I uh. thought my knees were like dead. Uh. But my, I went to the physio. Physio was like, nah, you just overdid it. Because like, you don't know. Uh. This, this is me, David. This is me. This is how I started running. No? I swear. I swear. <laughs> this is what I did. Uh. <clears throat> Wednesday, I did a 5K run. Yeah. My first 5k, I was so proud of myself. Get a 5k is moving. I was like, I was like, wow, like, yo, 5k. I was so, so proud of my no cut. Friday, the, the Friday the after, I did a 10k. Huh? I was like, wow, like, yo, no? like, this is insane. I can do this. This is Bring on the marathon. I was like, yo, I was so happy with myself. I was like, yo, no? like, and then the Sunday, I did a 21k. Yes, that's how from was, like the beginning. That's how I started to run. Like within a week. Within less than a week. So from Wednesday to Sunday. Yes. I went 5, 10, 21. Wow. That's what I did. And then you overdid it. With the wrong shoes, <clears throat> with the wrong socks, with uh. the wrong everything. And that was a day after leg day. Uh -huh. A day after leg day. And it was a Mursa 21K because it was like the elevation. They, they, um, by Table Mountainside mm -hmm. and... Down Geneva Road, yeah. Camps Bay, that hills over yeah. there. It was it was a fucked up 21k. I yes. did that. I just said, okay, it's close to the mountain. It's probably gonna be cool. Yeah. And it was raining that day also. And <laughs> yeah, so, I you were committed, bro. <laughs> I just said, wow, okay, I did a 21k. This is so crazy. Fuck no. And the following week I did another 21k. Mm -hmm. 
So in that two weeks of my early running career, I fucked up. <laughs> my knees, my knees. You did so well and you did so <laughs> cuck as well. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> I was like, yo, David, it, I was, my knees were so bad. I thought my, like, the way it felt, it mm. felt like my knees were like hanging on the thread. Uh. It was so bad. I was like, fuck. I was did like, they have like inflammation I, on the... I had everything probably. Uh. I, I don't know exactly what will happen inside. Yes, yes. But the first is just like, look here. It's just... You just overdid it. Uh. Nothing wrong structurally. But all you have to do is just like, just take it easy. Do mm. it in stages. <clears throat> but don't just think you can just run because your body's not used yeah. to this repetitive motion. So take it in stages. And, and basically what happened was this muscle around the knee called mm. the VMO, mm. the vastus medialis oblique. And that was just tight. It was tense. Mm -hmm. And that was, okay. was, was moving the ligament for the kneecap. Yeah out of place oh, it was moving okay, it around yeah, yeah, over yeah. the muscle like that so <clears throat> that was happening so all i had to do was just take it easy she must she dry needle the release the tension mm -hmm, over mm -hmm. there i also for, for a week or two after that i just massage it out regularly yeah. mm. and once that was reckoned then i was like okay fine you were going, again. I was going again but i took it oh. slow i took it in stages uh. and then i got a training plan from rodney oh, Shout out to Rodney again. <laughs> got a training plan from him to take me to the stage stages and stuff and, so yeah. So how, how do you actually start running, bro? So, say if I had to start. You just run, bro. <laughs> no, but uh, you can't just yeah. fucking go run and die on the road, bro. <laughs> there must be like something. <laughs> Walk for 30 seconds, <laughs> run for a minute, something like that. I don't know, man. It's, uh, what's, uh, what's your advice to a, uh, a, a novice runner? <laughs> David, I don't even have six months experience. You can't ask me. I, I, bro, you've been, been through just... a 30 kilometer. You've got a lot of experience. <laughs> I, I'm just as novice as a novice, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but what I, what I had to learn was, okay, after this knee thing, I didn't, in this process, I learned, like, mm. doing research, like, okay, do I have the right shoes? Because mm. people pronate and they supinate, yeah. which means they, <clears throat> they either go wide, their mm. feet go wide, or they go inside, or mm. it's, it's a neutral. Okay. Um, so what shoe do you need? So I had to learn, okay, fine, go for an assessment. Mm. I went to Sportsman's Warehouse, and then they had to put me on this machine mm. to walk on this thing, <clears> and they <throat> tell me, okay, Mm. Your feet is cuck or your feet is, your feet is all right. <laughs> you need this and this and this. So I had to get a stability shoe. So I was running with the wrong shoes also. Oh, shit. That's also why my knees got fucked up because I wasn't mm. pronating correctly. Wasn't that I wasn't, enough support here. Yeah. It was focal, David. <laughs> focal. Yes, sir. So I was like, okay, if I had to get any shoes, I was like, fuck, the shoes are expensive also. Yeah. I was like, ah, that's okay. Which shoe is the best now? They recommended this shoe. I was like, huh? It's, it's like a house, man. It's like, <laughs> yo. I love a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. And then I just thought, like, okay, fine. I need, need to get a running watch. Because, huh? like, I need to keep track of what, yes. I'm, what the fuck I'm doing. Uh. That's also expensive. I was like, fuck. It's like, <laughs> like, how do expensive. I justify these purchases to my financial manager? Like, you know, like, I'm always going to think I'm like, I got a gambling problem or something. Like, I'm just spending money. So I was like, fuck. Like, yo. And I was like, okay. Then I was just running because I did all these, I did these early 21 mm. Ks and stuff without even eating, man. Without yeah. eating water. So I was like, I just run. Mm. I'm running 21 Ks until I get 21. And then... Then you'll have your water and whatever. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, no, you should You need to hide it during. Exactly. So yeah. I was like, oh, I'm doing it wrong. So I was, to learn all that cut. It's like so, fixed to it. It's a lot. There's a lot of shit there. To I, I also just thought you just... I can run. That's my thing. Put also. on your shoes and there That's you go. Like, like in the movies. No. <laughs> like Rocky. I mean, you know? have you seen the shoes he runs in? Yeah, bro. bro. I, I don't know. think that's the right shoes. <laughs> yeah, no, I actually, I started running last year. I don't run anymore. But oh, <laughs> I die already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, bro. I, I ran for like three months, man. Last year, I think I started in like, when was it? Like June, July. Oh, and then just yeah, September, October, I, I stopped. But ah, yeah, bro, I was getting injuries as well. Why did you stop injuries? No, no, no. It was just ah, look. Then I had to start traveling to town and not Belgium anymore. Too much time and cuck, and I just had too many excuses. Anyway, got lazy. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, but, it, but wasn't a liquor when you felt running? Or? No, it was cuck every day. Yeah, see, that's when I was how, done, it was like, but while I was running, it was that's how also all fun. day, yeah. every day. Because be, before the 5K, I had to run for like 100 meters. It's like, ah, ah, but exactly. Ah, and it's the beginning, ah, especially. You know, it's like, like, yo. It's cuck. So um, I used to run it by my ass, like around the block. It was like 
2 or 2.4 kilometers. That's okay. why I, I bought myself like a Garmin watch as well. Oh, yeah. To take my running GPS what, and what, what kind what, of Garmin is that? I, I thought I the strap looked familiar. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. You don't know? It's a Garmin, bro. Okay. It's, it's, <laughs> bro I, like, I went down the rabbit hole before I put the watch. I'm watching the you know, YouTube videos of <laughs> understanding the watch. Like, battery life. Exactly. Stats and stuff. I was like, no, I've got to make sure I'm buying the right watch, bro. Like, Yeah, I actually had a... I've got a friend. A friend that you had on your podcast. Oh, he's, he's got the same watch. So he actually uh, told me to buy those. Because oh. he used to run as well back oh, when he was and younger. he's a sports guy as well. Yeah, yeah he's heavy into sports. Yeah. So, so he, he, ta- yeah, he, he, taught, he actually told me about the watch and explained to me the watch and everything. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, fuck, why not? I actually yeah. got it on like Facebook Marketplace. Really? Like, cheap, like 800 bucks. Yo, I, I can't trust Marketplace, bro. But really, this thing's been lasting me over a year. Okay. And the battery life is not cuck at all. Okay, now that's um, good. And it's that's waterproof good. and everything. Anyway, so I decided, right, I'm going to run. So for like a week or two, yeah. I was running, but it's like, I ran, but I, it's almost like a sprint, man. I just fucking go and... There I go. Why did you sprint that day? I'm going to tell you now. It's okay. every day. Because I don't know how to run, bro. The police I, chase you. I, I used to play rugby <laughs> and I used to do like 100 meters and yeah, 200 yeah, meters. Yeah. It's alles bro. That's your shit, yeah. Um, the short burst. I never, I never uh, uh, did long distance in school or any time. Mm. It was always short distances yeah, and rugby, same obviously. Same year. Same year. Um, so I, I, I also had asthma also, so I couldn't. Yeah, I've got asthma as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, anyway, so I started running. Uh, and then every day I try to run a bit further before mm. I actually start walking. Okay. And it started getting better, but then my calf muscle, bro, yeah, I started pulling it on the. Was it cramping? N- was it, no, was it was it like pull? I pulled it in the middle of the calf. There's like, I don't know where, what it is, but anyway, it was uh. sore, bro. Uh, I don't know what it was. I think it was a lift. I can't remember. Um, but I ran. I still ran. I was going to fuck it. Yeah. After the first yeah, 200 feel, meters, then. Yeah, yeah. It's fine again. Yeah. Um, so I did that, did that, and then eventually I was like, yo, I was actually at Stefan's house, his wife's a physio. Yeah, she is. And a physio, uh, yeah. I was telling them, yes, it's been my cough is smooth too. I've been running and whatever, but it's cack so. So she actually uh, did the acupuncture, put the needles in. Yes, I And I'll tell that. you what, I within a day or two, fucking it, sorted exactly, out. Exactly, it's through, perfect. And man. I was going again. And I then, love that acupuncture <clears> stuff. And then the one day Stefan actually came and he ran with me. And that's where I found out that I was running too fast. Um, what pace were you going at? I don't know. I wasn't. You have a fucking watch to tell you. The only thing I really what? checked on my watch is my heart rate, and I checked the map where I ran <laughs> <laughs> and how far I ran. I mean, what? I didn't look at anything you else really. Watch to tell you yeah. all of this. Because it shows shit. you your stride and your and your your pace. Exactly. Every pace. But yeah, I, I never checked that. Okay, so um, you yeah. almost here for yeah, yeah. So. I was, I don't know if I was on leave or what, but he was on leave or it was school holidays. So he ran from his house to my house and then we ran my route. Okay. And uh, he said, okay, no, he's going to keep up with me. I said, I'm going, bro, taking it, but I, my strides were too long. That was the problem. Oh, so I'm taking long strides, also. yeah, and I'm going, 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 pushing. And then I got to like a, I used to be able to run that pace for like a kilometer. And then I'm like, yo, and I need to walk. And he's like, now nah, he starts walking with me and he's like, come on, let's go. I'm like, no, fuck, I'm dead, bro. So give, me, give me another 100 meters then I'll... Yeah. So he's like, okay, he's going to start running. <laughs> because, <laughs> fuck, this guy was not nose. Anyway, yeah. he runs and then um, we get home and then he, was, he told me, yeah, but look, when you start off, especially um, like with me, I'm not a runner. Uh, you need to take like small, your, your stride needs to be smaller, man. Um, so I actually tried that and it actually worked. I, I was able to run the whole... 2.2 or 2.4, whatever it was, Ks in one without stopping. But I'll, I'm dead, bro. When I'm done, I'm fucking dead. I go, I actually, when I leave the house, because it, it took me like, uh, I think it was like 12 minutes, 12 point something minutes to run that 2.4. And I don't know if it's fast or not, but I don't think it is. <laughs> but then I, 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 when I leave, I put the aircon in my room. Oh, yeah. I put a towel on my bed because you're like sopping wet. <laughs> Are you that eight people? Like? More to bro. Put the aircon on, put the towel on my bed, and I, as I'm walking into my gate, I open the gate, I'm just taking off clothes, bro. And the sweat is dripping off me, and I go lie on that bed, and with the aircon on me, and for like a half an hour, I'm just there. What? And I'm like, heaving, ekes murtu, bro. I'm what? done. And I think that's also why I stopped, man, because I was just, it, it, I thought, okay, after a week or so, mm-hmm. Or two, I was doing it for like three months. I thought it was gonna be get better, man. Yeah. And I was gonna be able to go further. Uh, 
but I wasn't able to go further than that block. Um, I did once, I went a bit further and I made it. Um, but st it wasn't a lot, like maybe 200 meters further. Mm. But it was every day I just felt so fucked through. Sure. And uh, like I said, I thought, okay, maybe it's going to get better. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if um, my yeah. body's just not yeah. made for the shit or what. But And I think that is actually why I stopped because yeah. it just, it wasn't like, mm. it, it didn't get better. And I wasn't yes. able to actually run, run further. Uh, After my 2.2, 2.4 Ks, I'm dead sure. every time. I, uh, I think in hindsight, man, like, as cuck as, as those knee injuries were, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad it happened because mm -hmm. it sent me on this rabbit hole, like how, watching videos, how to run. Yeah. Tips yeah. If you didn't get an injury, you wouldn't yeah, have. Yeah, I became so obsessed <clears throat> with mm. running and how to run. Because yeah. I'm like, it can't be this hard, man. Like, mm. what the hell am I not doing right then? Yeah. But I think also with me, I was I was wearing my normal Mr. Price tackies, bro. Ooh. So that that probably maybe why my calf also just cut. Yeah. Um, there's so many factors I don't know. running to, yeah, to take probably. into account. Luckily, I didn't have problems with the knees. It was just my calf. Mm. Um, and that's my thing also when the knees was like fucked up. I was like, I can't understand because there's one thing I was proud of. Like, I've never had knee injuries in my exactly. life. Like, I've been squatting. I've been yes. up and down the mountain. Yeah, yeah. You're telling me this fucking running is... Yeah, I was like, I was exactly. so I was like, It's just running. Kids do it yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah, you know? And I was like... This thing that I'm trying is fucking up my whole yeah. fitness life. I was like, <clears throat> nah, man, I, I have to figure this out. This can't be this hard, man. Can't it be this is, hard. And uh, now I, I told you earlier, I've now, I started playing touch rugby again. I used to play touch rugby for years and years and years. But then when this whole lockdown cut mm. it, uh, obviously you couldn't play anymore. Yeah. It got cancelled. So I haven't played since then. Um, that 2019 was the last year I actually played touch rugby, but um, I had a lack of team as, for years we played. And then what used to happen is I'd always be unfit, but two, three games in and it's back and I'm, mm. I'm going. Then it's lacquer. That's why I loved it. I, you got fit and it's fun. Yeah. It's not just running. It's, yeah, it's, it's actually fun. It's social. Yes. And then this year, uh, Steve and myself, we uh, uh, wrote in a team, um, entered a team and we... We started playing, but yo, bro, the injuries again. First game, was it? Th yeah, first game was like a grading game. Like my calf again. Yes. When you say grading game, is it like to check your level? Of yeah, like to see which league you're, you're going to oh, be. Okay, gotcha. Look, we're the bottom league, fifth league. <laughs> we're just there for social. Um, but anyway, so grading game. Um, I think it was a grading game, yeah. Yeah, it must have been the first game. I was playing like a, like a moor to moor. Because um, I'm moor unfit. Um, but then right at the end, bro, there was maybe like two minutes left of the game. Fuck, there goes my calf. I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck. Okay, so now I'm thinking, thinking yes, bro, I don't know how I'm going to play the next week because it's every Monday. Um, luckily. But don't, but don't you like two stretches and massage? Yeah, but massage not the hell of a yeah. lot. I mean, fuck it. I'm just a guy. I pitch up and I do what I need to do. No, it's like when I used to gym as well. Just, I get to the gym, take a couple of 10 kilos dumbbells. Right. We're done, let's go. Let's bring out the 40s. <laughs> I don't stretch or nothing. And that, he, he's actually, he was telling me that as well. That, look, you need to stretch. Oh. And uh, you're not 18 anymore. And <laughs> fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there now. <laughs> and you need to stretch. And uh, um, yeah, so I said, like I said, the, the calf muscle went. Then luckily the next week was, um, I didn't go to the physio or anything. But then I, I, I just went to the doctor and he gave me like anti-inflammatories. Why are you going to the doctor? No, because he needs to refer me to a physio. Oh, is but then he fucking didn't oh. refer me, the fucking idiot. Uh, but anyway, God gave me anti-inflammatories. Um, then, luckily, the next week's game, the Monday's game, got cancelled. Oh. Or moved to the next because of rain or load okay. shedding or whatever it yeah. was. I can't remember. Then the second game we play. Yes, it's brew. Again at the end. Both my hamstrings. Hamstrings? Both, bro. Both. Uh, my calf muscle felt all right, but what? then I ran... And I wasn't even really pushing, if I, if I can remember right. Um, but I was, again, like the... Because I think it's at the end, you're like so tired, your muscles are tired, because you're not used to running. Yeah. So then you get these injuries. And uh, so both my hamstrings, just this, it just pulled and it was... Cock, so I went off the it's field and I, I was just sitting there next to the field. I'm like, I'm thinking, was like, yes, this blue. Should I continue with this? This shit's not for me. Yeah. Um, 
And then luckily, and then oh, I was should I start stretching? No. <laughs> should, and, uh, should I have to take no. care of myself? <laughs> Maybe I should take some uh, other people's advice. <laughs> um, yeah. So then um, I was still at Stefan's house as well uh, the, on the weekend, and I'm telling him, yo, bro, I'm not going to play this game on Monday. I am fucked. I can't run. Yeah. I thought, I thought, and I don't want to now play, and I injure myself even okay, further because yeah. now it might just snap. Off the bone. And, um, and then luckily that's again, cool, the Monday's game got cancelled again. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, are you Yo, bro. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, so I, luckily I had some uh, two weeks off. Um, and then I was actually at home doing stretches, uh, stretching and things like that. Okay, okay. And then since then, I haven't really gotten an injury again. But the th problem is I'm just not getting fit, man. Mm. And like I said, when I was younger, when I was playing this, two, three games, yes, then I'm there again, bro, and I can oh, play. Now it's like every single day or game I am moored to. Now the other day, like three weeks ago, we had to play two games in a row. Sure. Um, because of the... Games we've like, missed during the season. Like a game and then a break and then a game. The same no day. fucking break, bro. Like same day? Yes, oh, right shit. after each other. So we played, played at 6.30 and then... Uh, How long are the games? Uh, it's 45 minutes. Shit. Sure. And that's most quick bursts. Uh, yes, time, a yeah. lot. Luckily, it's rolling subs. But oh. the problem with our team is a lot of times, a lot of these guys don't pitch up. So there's so little of us. Oh, shit. So you have to play a full and this, game. And that's what happened. The first game we played of the night, 6.30 game, it was only like six of us. You have to have five on the field. And then there's a sixth guy that's a rolling side. But we started off only with five. Because Stefan, he's actually part of the, he organizes the touch rugby. So he had to oh, go wow. ref in one game because one of the refs didn't pitch up. Oh, so yeah. the ref only pitched up like second half. So then he only joined us. So then we were six. Hey, but the first refs. half... It's just us, bro. Just five. And fuck, the other team, they've got like subs. We've got nothing. Yo, I was dead. Eventually, he came. I, I'm subbing. There I go. <laughs> but now no one else can sub because I'm dead. I'm lying there. <laughs> and, then I, and then I go up uh, onto the field again after like a couple of minutes. Ah, oh, not long, bro. It's like, yeah, hey, are you ready on next to the field? Those guys, uh, look, my teammates know, bro. Leave the subs alone. It's for David. David is the guy that's going to sub. <laughs> it's so I'm the one that keeps going, I don't know, hey, dying here on the field. <laughs> um, like, but, okay, yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, and then, um, anyway, so I suffered that game. And then the very next game, immediately after that, we went to the next field, played the next game. Then we got a whole lot of subs. Um, because I think the first game was just too early, man. Okay. Um, but then I, then I actually I got like a second breath or whatever. And I was playing lacquer. Um, we actually won that game. The first game we lost because, fuck, we just didn't have enough people. We were all moved to. But then we won that one. That's actually the game we won to get us into the semis that we played now last week. Or this, yeah, now Monday. Did you win? Uh, no, we lost. <laughs> By like one point. Yo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, we played the second game. But that night I was dead. Even the next day, I was so moved to. And then we, we played... Last, now Monday, I, I, I was so tired that whole game. It was like, what the hell? The, the previous week, I mean, played two games. I thought, okay, maybe that's going to boost me for this game because yeah. it's a lot of cardio. It was like, because I put my GPS on the uh, tax, how far are you running? Oh, yes. and, and I was I ran like over three Ks, man, yeah. in the evening because, of, and it sprints like yeah, high intensity. Yeah. So I thought, okay, well, the yeah. next day, uh, well, next Monday, I should now be a bit better. I was, in, I was worse off. I was so tired. Um, yeah, it was actually, usually in a game, I, you run about 2.1 kilometers thereabouts. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, yeah, it was like 3 point something kilometers I ran for two games, but it was, I was fucked. You there. see, the problem is, man, like, you, were, you played that game and you, and, you, and you had a great time, right? But you didn't, you didn't make sure that you were in better, in better position the mm. next game because you didn't, like, <clears throat> stretch it. Yeah. My body isn't used to that, that distance and, the, and that intensity. So now you didn't stretch and you didn't mm. mus give you like, mus like yeah. massage those legs or hamstrings or calves and stuff. Mm. So you're taking that stiffness, that trauma yeah. that you had in the first <laughs> game and you're carrying it, carrying through. it through to the yeah, next game. Yeah. It's, it's exactly that. Yeah. So we're going to start uh, the next se uh, season starts now in Jan, end of Jan sometime. Mm. So we're, we're now um, getting another team together and whatever. So I, actually, I was talking to Steve last night. I was telling him, look, next season, we'll play now touch rugby on a Monday. And then I want to like, maybe like a Wednesday or Thursday, I want to actually go running, man. Yeah. Uh, try and get back into it. And yeah. just to see if I can build up the you, fitness, man. I'll, like, because like, I'll play better than in an actual mm, touch rugby game. It, it's, it's, like, it's like this, like, 
if like if, if you do like a long run, let's say you do a thirty k or a marathon mm. or twenty one k, right? You, they call they call the, the next day they they say you must do a recovery run, mm -hmm. like you know, like a short run, like a easy slow place. whatever. Yeah, it's it's like a loss of mark, you know, yes, just a loss yeah. mark, and and that really helps. Like mm. that really helps it cause, because if you don't do that, your muscles get stiff. Yeah, and and, and you carry all the pains and stresses yes. to the next run again, and then you feel cocky. You're know, like, yo, how did I run so like that? No. It's exactly that. Yeah, you, you have you have to stretch. It. Get yourself a foam roller, David. Get yourself a foam roller and... I've checked those things at the gym, but I mean, what the fuck do you do with it? Just roll around on it. <laughs> I've checked these guys, they're like rolling on it. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> Playing I've, around I've, here at gym. <laughs> I've got, a, I've, okay, I've, I've got a, a lot of things to like massage and uh, uh. to take care of. Like, well, this is what I do in the mornings, right? I do a cold shower in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And when I, and after that, like, I'll, I'll get dressed and then I'll do stretching and mobility. Yeah. So I'll do mobility drills, stretching, and then the evening also, before mm -hmm. I go to bed, I'll do mobility and stretching you again, are. and massage That's work way too much effort for me. Oh, it's not. I can That's never. Not. But... It's not. <laughs> like, those little things, that, and it's not just for, like, training for gym uh, and stuff. Day-to-day, uh. -day, like, I mean, you have a child, right? Yeah. So picking her up, mm. running with her, playing with her and stuff, you're more mobile, you can do things, like, mm. you don't have to, like, fuck, like, I'm, I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> I'm I'll coming. be there now. I'll give be there now. <laughs> give me a day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just to, like, mobility is so important. Mm. Flexibility, mobility. You don't want to be like, ah, oh, fuck, let me pick this up for my child. Oh, exactly. Like, you know. But you know what, talking about my child, though, when, yeah. when I was actually doing the running, yeah, I, uh, for that two, three months or whenever, whatever, I, I would feel I was getting more fit because I was actually able to run more with my kid. Okay. I can remember we went to a birthday party, one of my friend's birthday party, and I was running around there with the kids and fucking chasing mm -hmm. them and whatever, and it was like, yo, I'm not really getting that tired. Yeah. Now, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Give me some beer first. <laughs> <laughs> I need some carbs. <laughs> um, so I was getting more fit. It was just, mm. I think just, I, because I don't know how to run, it was a problem, yeah. uh, how to get started and mm. so on. But I, I, I was definitely getting more fit because I was actually at that time, I was telling the Stephen that, I want to I wanna start saying so we can do like that MP challenge or whatever. Oh, like a 10K, oh, like obstacle course yeah, type thing. Yeah. Ah, I never got there. I was just too I, fuck. I, I don't like those things for the simple reason hmm? that it's, it, it's so prone to injuries. Like you can get mm. injured so ugly there. And for what? Mm. And then you can't and you can't train for, for, for yeah. the next how long? Just for what? Just for like... Oh, it looks I fun, think, man. No, it does. <laughs> it, it does. But like, I'm not going to do that because I understand mm. like... I don't want to do that and then like then what yeah and then i can't run something again. happens now you can't run you can't jump. i can't go to the mm. mountain like out of your fucking mind yeah look like pros and cons man yeah you gotta, <laughs> you gotta pick your your battles <laughs> wisely you know huh? yeah man i think pick your battles wisely this day and age but mm. i still recommend you shoot like just stretch and mm. like this first year, like years ago this first year gave me this phenomenal tip that i mm. still use today she's like I, I went there, for, I think something was tight in my shoulder or something. Yeah. And she's like, you know what you do the next time you feel this way? Take a tennis ball. Mm? And you just massage it yourself. I can remember seeing you with your tennis ball all yeah. the time. Yeah. Uh. And, then, and then now I progress to a hockey ball. So oh, like, okay. Because sometimes it's deep, man. It, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Deep. You need something more yeah, firm. Yeah. Mm. So I, I went to first, like, you know, a slash ball, a red, a red ball, a slash ninja balls. Oh, there's a, a hockey ball. No, no, no. That tennis like ball a, type. It's like a tennis ball. Yeah, that hard red, one. It's, red, it's yeah. the one they use for like cricket, the, the kids, yes, kiddies cricket. Yes, 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 yes Bakers, I know that one. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Then, and then I went to the hockey ball. The hockey ball is awesome, mate. especially for the legs. Uh, to get deep into the yeah, tissue yeah, yeah. and stuff, especially for the calves. Uh -huh. and, and I've got a massage gun as well. Uh, oh, did you get those? Sure. That TikTok massage that, gun. That shit. <laughs> that mas the massage gun for your calves. Really? And your Achilles heel. And we, oh it works. Oh my gosh, like that relieves anything. Like, Yo. Especially for the legs, of, for like the lower legs. Yes. Yo, that's amazing. That's priceless. <clears throat> that's priceless. Massage. And I've seen those things that looks quite blue. Yes. Now you see like a lot of those things are fake and not fake, but it's like cut, man. Because yes. like, you get those ones with weak motors. Yes, yes, so yes. You got to be careful of what you buy. Get a proper one. Yeah. Because yeah, like the one I got, I got so lucky when I bought this. Mm. I, I've been eyeing this thing for a long time. Mm. I'll take a lot. But it was a two, two seven. Mm, I mm. first said one was very mark, right? Very, yeah. I bought that one. That was a nice one. It was mm. okay. Then that one broke after about just just after the guarantee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. They make these things to break just after the guarantee runs out. (laughs) So I went went to them and I was like, how much is it to repair this Mm. thing? They said don't actually repair this stuff. Oh? After sending it to Joburg, they say, no, they don't. So they, they send it away. They, they could have just, just to come me. back and say, no. They could have just fucking told me that they don't repair Yes, it's very waste your time. Like said, yeah, oh, but if I give them my old one, I can get like a 200 rand off if I buy a new one. And the one, if I buy a new one. So they can fix the old one exactly, and sell it again. Sell it. Yeah. And, like this new, and this new one, like a year later, it costs more than the previous one because of yeah. inflation. So I was like, no, I'm not going to buy the same thing. So I was like, no, so I went online, so I saw one take a lot for like two seven. Mm. But I was like, fuck, two seven is a lot just for the massage yeah. gun. So I was like, I waited, I waited. Then I got this like random notification from them to say the massage gun that I wanted is on my wish list huh? is now like one five. Oh, yo. I was like, fuck, I'm buying one it. One five that's a moose drop. Exactly. So I'm buying it. It was the last one also because after I bought it, I was stuck so Oh much. really? Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. lucky you got lucky. So there. I so this massage gun, I was like, fine. Probably gonna be cuck anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I'm checked it out. This massage gun is so sober fuck. No? Like, Much better than the very mark one. N- n- yeah, oh, t- miles better. Uh, the, normally with a massage gun, right, you press, like, if you push, if you normally just, like, surface touch is fine. Uh, but once you, like, press deep into the tissue, yeah? the motor will slow down. Yes, yes. This one, David, this one got levels, like, the more deep oh, you it? go, it goes faster and faster and faster. It increases. Yo. Then, like, levels to it, it goes up and up. Okay. I was like, whoa, this is perfect. Wow. This it's, is perfect. It's like cordless as well. Yeah, So cordless. you charge it and whatever. Yeah, yeah, cordless. And how long does it, like, last? Okay, the, ba- I, the battery, I mean. Okay, I use it a lot. <laughs> okay, I, I'll sit with it. I, like, watch something, and I'll just, like, uh, uh. Nah. Now, the, 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 the higher the speed... Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the yeah, time yeah, you yeah. But it's a good. They also don't recommend you use it for forty-five minutes at a time. Okay. Give it most the chance to rest. Oh, okay. So, but I'll, uh, probably like for an hour mm. of like intense, like on high speed with me going. Yeah, oh, so the battery's not cock. Yeah. No, it's not cock. It's not cock. Oh, and it's and it's been for more than a year now. It's still lasting. Mm. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. Like this seems mm. like both for heavy duty people. Yeah, and obviously you bought a quality exactly. Like, Gunner, it's I mean it's yeah. not just gonna break. It's not just gonna break. So I'm I'm very happy with this one. <clears throat> Much better than the very Mark one, especially for the cars, man. Cause yeah, like cars is so like mm. yeah, you can get to it. You can put the hockey ball there and put your other mm. leg over it too. Yes, but. But this thing like precise, man. You put it on that spot and you press it into. Yeah, you don't have to roll or whatever. You yeah. know where it needs to go. Exactly. And that's next, it. Next day, there was like, wow, I got new calves, bro. Like, yo. Yes. Feels great, you yeah. Now I must check out something like that because ah, I love. Look, I get a lot of like knots in my back and stuff, man. Oh. And I think uh, that thing, something like that, would like, actually work for David, that. David, I'm telling you, especially for your neck area here. Yeah, like, yes, you know, exactly. It's great. Because yeah. that's especially with like sitting in front of a computer all day with work yeah, and whatever. It's like, no. ah, bro. I, yeah. I'm forever sitting there. and I'm like, yes, mm. it's my neck, bro. It's like kaksu. But now, but now, yes, it's great for getting the knots out. But you still got to be like work on mobility, though. Mm. You can't just because like if you sit in front of a computer the whole day, right? Well, this is my fitness podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you've been sitting computer all day. Like, everything becomes stiff. Like, there's no movement. Like, mm. Especially with scapula. There's nothing yeah. going on over here. So now, this gets stiff and now you just massage it. But now what your body needs is mobility. Mm-hmm. You've got to get used to moving the muscles yeah. individually again. Because mm-hmm. this gets so stiff and then it's like, oh, fuck. And you wake up next morning, it's like, oh, why am I so tired? I didn't even play rugby yesterday. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Meanwhile, it's just, just because of sitting lack of blood flow in that yeah. area. So you just got to get the blood flow going. Yeah, yeah. That come in. But have you, have you ever been, I think you have, uh, have you been to a chiropractor before? Fuck. I think about that I think you've told me day. that you've gone through. I still think about that. That fuck up every that day. That cuck. Bro, what? I went there once. This was now a couple of years before the You went to the, the same guy I went to. Was it? Yes. Then, then, after, Dalville, after Durbanville. Durbanville, yeah. yeah. Bro, remember we had a chat and we, yes. we, and you told me about what this guy normally says yeah. to you, crack any cuck. Cuck, bro. And I was there, I can remember, I, I went there. I don't know what was wrong. Uh, fuck. I think everything was wrong. And I was just Googling <laughs> oh, it. Oh, remember you're back for deadlifting. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And um, I was watching these videos on YouTube, but I was like, yeah, these guys perform miracles, bro. Yes. I mean, there's a guy who can hardly walk, and now yes. he's like fucking jumping around and whatever. And I was like Googling chiropractors, chiropractors, and I checked this guy. I'm like, yeah, oh, okay, like 400 odd rand or... 500 odd rand a yeah, session. That was expensive. And that's fucking a lot of money. And medical yeah. aid doesn't cover this shit. It doesn't cover it, no. Um, and there's a reason why, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I learned, obviously. <laughs> and I, I go to this guy. 
Uh, make an appointment, go after work the one day. Pick his name. Okay, I don't say his name. No, 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 we won't say his name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I ran past that practice yesterday. I ran to Tiger Valley. Oh, really? I ran to Tiger Valley. Hey, you look at it you bust. Well, last week, Sunday, I was like running. I was like, this is a bitch. Like, I was like, Selling lies. How dare you? I actually was thinking of like running into the... The complex, did you just see huh? if, his, if his business is If he's still there. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I said, nah. Go piss, a, piss against his fucking door or something. <laughs> I was like, nah, just let it go. Just let it go. Oh, but so yeah. many lies. So I went to this guy. And look, I must say it was lacquer what he was doing. Yeah, But yeah, then the guy's like, like he pulled my this. neck and fucking yeah. bent me like a fucking pretzel. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was like, you know the, and the thing is, I still went there with my work clothes. I had this tight fucking oh, chino sh- pants yeah. on. And not thinking, man. But I mean, I had to go to work, and I, yes, from yes. there, I didn't first have to go home and then come back yeah. and crack like that. Um, I'm my not to focus gear, <laughs> 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 but I mean, he was bending me and pulling me, and yeah. look, the lacquer thing with the neck was a whole quay. I, I enjoyed that thing, but then now the guy's telling me, ah, oh, but uh, just uh, tomorrow you're gonna be, you're gonna feel a bit sore, and what, what, what? And same, same lies. But um, <laughs> yeah, so you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna feel sore because it's working, and, yeah. and you see this pain that you had in your back. Oh, it's going to be great weather. Yeah. Cock, bro. No, tomorrow <laughs> I woke up, I'm like, I feel four core. I feel nothing, bro. What the hell? <laughs> what soreness? And except for the fucking pain that's still in my back. <laughs> because we know what Dom sees me. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, exactly from the gym, exactly. you know. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, I'm going to, tomorrow, yeah, my hamstrings are going to be sore. Awesome. And this is why this guy was telling me, no, you're going to be sore. And you know what? Honestly, I've been for oh, massages, no? Mm. Like these Swedish uh, massages yes. and stuff. Then I get, then it's sore the yeah, next day. Yeah, you feel so. Oh, bro, it's like, yo, it feels like a workout. This guy, fuck all, bro. Cold, yeah, I felt like normal, all the pains are still there. Still. But nothing, <clears throat> fucking muscle pain or anything yeah. I get. And then, because this guy still wanted me to come back, like, I don't know if it was still within that work week or like the next week. And I told my wife, nah, fuck, this guy's stealing my money. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, fucking yeah. hell, I'm paying this guy a fuck this... ton of money for fucking just to. Crack my, my, my knuckles and my whatever. I mean, I can do that at I home. Can do that myself, like. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I never went back, but uh, it's just amazing. These YouTube videos, these guys oh. look like fucking Yo. magicians, though, bro. Yeah. And then you get this shit in real life, it's like, nah. I mean, there's, there's guys that I've not seen because that's where I got this fucking idea from. And I think you also told me because you used to uh, went there mm. a couple of times as well. And I was checking these things. People that have to, then, uh, then on the YouTube videos, it's like, nah, but the doctors told him uh, he needs to have surgery on his back or his neck and this and that, that. And then this guy is like, nah, don't worry about fucking surgery. Well, so did I. We just <laughs> pull here, pull there, twist here, whatever. And then all of a sudden, this guy's like, fuck, and oh, perfect. And I thought, yo, this is like Ow. a quick fix. Yeah. Easy. Nah, I, fuck. I, you know, like, I always thought that Cairo was like the next step above a physio. That was the lies. I was but so s- back same. in the day, right? And I was like, nah, I can't go to the same. Cairo. Like, you must be really fucked up to go to a mm. Cairo because they're like specialists in spine. And I was like, I don't want to go find out my spine is fucked up because a spine, like spine is life. Right? Exactly. I was like, okay, I got this thing on my neck. I was like, let me go and see. Okay, I, okay, Van, I go. <laughs> this, guy, this guy like sold me this lie that I'm really fucked up and I need to go <laughs> see him regularly because this is a, a long thing yes, and I have to yeah. come in. I must take, to take long to heal and uh, stuff. Like, I was like, what, man? Because I'm, hmm. I'm, not, I'm not getting better uh, and he's not giving me an end date of treatment. Yes. I was like, no, man, this can't be right. It's just, yeah, if you go to a physio, they'll say, no, like three treatments, whatever, sorted. David, like, this e- guy's just, every, no, for the rest of your life, you need to come back. This is chronic. <laughs> Girl, I'm paying his rent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought go to a physio, and after the first session, he's like, okay, I did this and this and this. If you feel like you're still like, just follow me for another point. Exactly. They don't tell you like, no, we were going to sign you up for yes. six sessions. And as I went to a physio, and, this physio was so impressed with my mobility and mm. the, everything's aligned and stuff. She actually asked me like, if I train people. Yes. Because my body's like the way it's... Yeah. I was like, I thought I was broken. And this guy's telling you, you're so cuck. I, I and thought like, I was broken. I was like, this... I got so upset. He's so surprised like, you can still walk. I got so upset. <laughs> like, and then I, I listened to a, um, a podcast, you know. Mm. It was a Joe Rogan podcast. I'll never forget this. This was the little early days of uh-huh. me finding out about like, what yeah, a podcast yeah. is and stuff. And then he, he went... Okay, He's, he's, cause he's, cause he went down this rabbit hole of yes. like how podcasts came about, and cause he, he said like, 
e meio fã não dos gatos porque eu entendo a cara, man. Oh, yeah? Because he said, cara, os gatos, blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. And then he, they, then he said he smoked weed, and then he felt bad. <laughs> and he's like, fuck, man, maybe I should, like, apologize to this guy and stuff. <laughs> and he's like, wait, fuck this. He's like, and he dug, wait, I was rabbit hole, huh? and started researching about the history of Cairo. Yes. Do you know, no, <clears throat> how it got started? Uh-uh. It was all based on, it's, it's a con artist. Mm? He claimed that he could solve or cure like people who are blind and yeah. deaf by spinal manipulation and cracking mm? and that stuff. And that's how he got into the, and that's how the Cairo oh. school started. And then his son huh? killed the father to take over the business. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that's how it goes, by a con artist. The whole thing, the whole concept of And look at it now. Now they're medical practitioners. And now, and now you're called doctor. <laughs> no, doctor. But do you know they didn't even go to medical school? No, but do you know they don't even have a chiropractic school in South Africa? They there's have to go to America. One, there's only one in the whole world that's in America. And that, that, exactly. And they have to all go to America to study there. That's a red flag. If it's, if it's such a wonderful thing, why it isn't there world, all over? Worldwide. Why does Stellenbosch University not teach this exactly. shit? Exactly. <laughs> and... And also, right, do you know, do you know that uh, only recently the medical is started recognizing them because they started picketing and say, yeah, yeah. but why can't we and blah. But they still don't cover it. Live. Yeah, they still don't. You must claim it back from them. Yes. You must, you must go there, present the what's in it, mm. and then, but, but they don't fall under that, like, like physios exactly. doing stuff. Like. Mm. I, and I could not believe this. I went, I went down this rabbit hole and to, to understand, like, no, don't get me wrong, mm. right? There are some chiropractors out there that, use massage techniques mm. and maybe they use MRIs to see, okay, this is what's wrong with you. Mm. Is that we're going to fix you and they incorporate some other techniques other than just spinal manipulation. Yes, yes. But don't talk cock to me, man. Don't call, I'm not going to call exactly. you a fucking doctor. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not a fucking you're not doctor. A fucking doctor. Don't you didn't, fucking... You didn't, go, you didn't go to medical school. A fissure is not even a fucking doctor. Exactly. Now you want to be a doctor. And, and they actually went to medical <laughs> exactly. school to exactly. understand they, the human body properly. Exactly. I was like, fuck No, but bro. I actually asked my physio after that, um, I got a back injury again or whatever. Um, and I went to this physio as a lady, like, oldest lady. Mm. And I, I actually asked her, like, what do you think about chiropractors? Mm. Um, this woman just started laughing. Really. And she's see? like, she t- and then she told me that apparently whatever a chiropractor can do, uh, what, the proper stuff, they do as well. Yeah. Plus More. these other things. More. So she says, people that go to chiropractors is like, why are they going there? Why? Firstly, mm. this is it's a scam. It is a scam. And and she she flat out says, look, manipulating the spine and things like that, it's not good for you. Exactly. They can fucking break your neck with they these can. pools and shit. They can. And then what happens? They can. Um, if they just put too much pressure on, it's, that's why they don't, uh, physios don't do that. They shit. don't. They, they deal with the muscles and obviously, but... And massage techniques like some chiropractors do, but it's mostly massaging and obviously the machines and the, yes. the, the needles and, and ultrasound and but exact, information. Exactly. And she's, actual science. Exactly. She told me they do they do, can do exactly the same as a chiropractor. Obviously the stuff that does work. They don't go and fucking break your legs and yeah. cuck like that. And actually feel better afterwards. And it works. Yeah. And like you said, you've got an expected end date. Exactly. You come there for five sessions, yeah. three sessions, two sessions, it's done. I, I only go once, right? I go once. They diagnose me, they tell me this was wrong. Once I know what's wrong, right, mm. I'll do my own research and I'll say, okay, fine, I got it from here. I need to do this, mm. this rehabilitation. I need to stretch. Mm. I need to do this and this and this. But they I'll usually give there. you exercises they anyway. Do. They, they do. They don't tell you, no, you must keep coming back. They, they just don't. tell you because generally the first first uh, session or second, uh, one or two sessions, they do the stretches with you there. Yes. And then they tell you, okay, now you... Just, it's just like the the, the um, infrared or whatever yeah. uh, that they obviously do. Once yes, they the, the once dry needle, yes, best, the dry needling yes. is the best. Oh once they gosh. decide, look, that oh is gosh. we don't need to do that anymore. Yes. Then you just do. They tell you, okay, you it's fine now. You now do the stretches that we show you this. with a towel and a this and a what. If you need to come back, just phone me. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep hold you exactly. liable to say you must come back. No, but I think this chiropractic thing what made it popular is fucking YouTube. It's it? YouTube. It must have been. I, well, I, that and. And being a con artist is just yeah. selling this lie. True. Because I mean, this was, this was back then. This was like yes. way back in the. Oh, but exactly. Many, uh, well, I don't know what century it was, but it's it's a whole like it's a whole, it's, it's like it's like a, it's like magic. Like it is. <laughs> people like say, oh wow, that's amazing. Like oh, and they tell their friends about yes. it. Yes. Word of mouth and like, whoa, look at this the tricks <laughs> that the guy can do, and he's curing these no, people. And, exactly. But in the meantime, the guy might feel better there. 
but tomorrow is worse exactly. off. Exactly. It's like those, um, have you seen those videos, those church videos of those people that, the guy's like in a wheelchair, and then this boss, the guy comes oh, in, yes. he's like, oh, no, 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 yeah. fuck, stand up. And then <laughs> he's up. But then you hear, but uh, there was, oh, was it on God launch or something? I actually watched this. And then uh, they actually went back like the next day to these people that this guy uh, healed. And these people were fucked, bro. They were like sore. And like, what's the guy? This guy couldn't walk anymore and shit like that. And, and did you see that video? It was a couple of years back. It was actually doing the rounds um, of this past. I think it was here in South Africa somewhere in Joburg or whatever. Um, they brought some guy back to life. He was like in a coffin. Shit. And then it came across like the news was like, what the fuck? So they investigated and they found out it was a whole scam. The guy was obviously, I mean, you can't bring a guy back to life. He was like in the coffin. They were apparently going to, on his way to bury him. And this guy, uh, the pastor said, no, 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 come here, man. I saw them out. And fuck, the guy comes up. And then it came out that this pastor and his wife and this guy was in on on the thing. Like it's like a scam. They paid this guy lying there like, I don't know how much. Um... But obviously, th- people can't think for themselves. Bro. Yeah. How could you possibly believe this shit? It's that brainwashing. That, and you know, exactly. It's a cult. It, it a, is a, a fucking cult. A cult there. And there was, a, there was another one. Um, where, I, I don't know where it was. Also in South Africa. Where the guy died. And this pastor also said, no, he's going to come back to life in like a week or whatever. Wow. And they kept this guy in a morgue for like three months or something. Oh, oh my and this pastor keeps saying, no, 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 he's going to come back to life. Fuck, eventually they, I think the morgue just said, fuck this, bro, this guy's stinking up the place. Wow. I mean, we need to bury him or burn him, whatever. Wow. It's like, mm. people are so gullible. Sure. Why do you believe the shit yeah. the people talk? You know, yeah. common sense tells you the guy's mm. dead. Yeah. He's not coming back. Certified dead. Now, if, if this guy could bring people back from dead, bro, You'd have a long line of people, Yo, you know. You know how rich this guy would have been. never be out of business. I would sell my fucking house to bring my father, my mother, my sister, whatever back You know back what through. I mean? Like, but I'm sure people did that. But No, but that's obviously why yeah. he, he did this mm. scam and he, people were paying him. Mm. No, it's, Yo, but I just want to send a shout out to my physio. She, she's, 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 no, she's in Australia now. I think eh? she moved to Australia, yeah. But she was amazing. Uh, What's her name? Okay, I don't want to maybe not say anything. But she, she, you know you are. You but, know you are. But she, she actually cared, man. Like, uh, she actually fucking cared. She gave a fuck, man. Yes. And she was so, like, proud of her work. And when, she, when, 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 you, when you see you making improvements and stuff, she's, exactly. she's so happy and stuff. But she really cared, man. I fucking miss her. <sighs> heartbreak, bro. It's you know, a heartbreak. I, I can see the tear in your I, eye. I, I, I told you, you can't just leave me like this. Like, how dare you? Drop a bomb like this on me, you're dare, leaving. How what? How dare you? And not, not just maybe to another suburb. You like know, Australia. Australia. <laughs> I said, yo, like, I'm going to come one day, just for an hour. I just, I, I just want treatment for an hour. And then I'll go back again. Even, like, even if I'm not injured, <laughs> I just want to come here. Just know. to see you. Just massage me. <laughs> you know, she's like, no, I'll find something wrong with you. <laughs> Like, nah, I, I like people who care about not just their, their work but their patients as well in that mm. type of field man, I think about passion for their work exactly. man. that's the thing you get a lot of these even doctors I must say I've got a lack of doctor as well when I get to him uh, um, whatever's wrong with me I come in before he even talks to me about what's wrong with you whatever <clears throat> we'll just have a fat conversation with him. he'll come in he's like hey how's it going yeah. he'll ask me about my work and yeah then we'll talk about we we just talk and then it's like, okay, 15 minutes later, right. What's so what brings you here today? <laughs> How, what's happening? Yeah. Then I'm like, ah, no, my yeah. back, my stomach, my head, my whatever. Yeah. And then he, it's like, yeah, he's such a lacquer guy. Yeah. But now, fuck, now I need to find a new doctor because I don't have move medical aids and he's oh, not on my fucking medical aids plan. List, yeah. And it irritates me. I've been with this guy since 2011. Wow. I, so I, long. I was with the doctor and then, I don't know, man, this guy, I think he's become lazy or he's just become, he's become more... I, was, okay, I can't say lazy, but maybe just worried about more how he spends his time because now he's on my clothes and, mm. does, and now he's, he's on my clothes for this full day randomly. Oh, and, he just closes. Yeah, and then like, I, it's weird, man. Like, fuck. Like, so I said, no, man. So I was like, I'm going to this other doctor. This guy's unreliable. So I, I went to this <laughs> old doctor that I went to like because like, he used to like help me with, like, like, back in the day. Yeah. Like, I was like, Three or four or something, mm-hmm. like whenever I had asthma, like he would put me on a nebulizer yes. and stuff, like asthma attack and stuff. And 
So I was like, I need this guy still around, man. Uh. So I phone. Yeah, this guy must be so old. Yeah, he's like, and he walks kind of old. You know that old world. He walks. But I mean, I, I went there, and, uh, like, uh. and I was like, wow, this is like, it's so like, you know that feeling of nostalgia, man? You're mm. in his office, and it's like, wow. It's like memories, yo. Yeah. Yo, like, yeah. Because, like, I also remember, like, I'll never forget this. Like, I I used to love, like, my parents bought me these shoes that I loved, man. Mm -hmm. These hiking, hiking sh oh, yeah. shoes. Mm -hmm. Not really the hiking shoes, but I look like a hiking shoe. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. And I could never understand, like, I had these foot pains. My feet were just mm -hmm. pain, man. I couldn't understand, like, and I went, went to him and... He asked me like, um, check, hold on, look at my feet, and it's like, it's like, what shoes are you wearing? So I show him the shoes. Like, mm -hmm. You see the shoe? Like the shoe was giving me flat feet. They had yeah. no arch. Oh so yes. So my feet was basically because I was still young, so my feet was reshaping. Yeah, so and that uh, says, uh, obviously hurt. Yeah, so he's like, stop wearing the shoes. Uh. I was like, well, I see, like diagnosed and he helped me. Like I'll never forget that. You see, uh, he mm. actually knows what he's doing yeah, as yeah. well. And he's not, it's not like a doctor. <clears throat> they'll just, ah, fuck, you need to go to a specialist. Yeah, like, and it only deals with flu and exactly, stuff like that. Yeah, and like, oh, you had to go to a podiatrist. No, to check out exactly. Your feet and, and like one time, like, I had an asthma attack and then he came from, he was the human wife at the party. Mm -hmm. And he came, actually left the party to put me on a neighborhood. Really? Stuff. Yeah, yeah, this was way back when I was Yo, like, But you know, back in the school. day, doctors used to be different, man. Um, they used to even come to do like our schools house and shit. Now, I mean, fuck, yeah, they, they don't care. They just say like, go to the emergency hospital. room or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I can also remember, um, well, I don't really remember the guy, but I, I remember when I was a young, because look, I, had, I was an asthma and so on, I had attacks. I, my mother in the middle of the night called the doctor. Fuck, here the guy comes. Mm. Gives you like whatever you need. Because the whatever. nebulizer was expensive back then. Yeah, yeah bro. Fucking hell, nebulizers. Like, I've got now one for my daughter that I bought because she's, she's also got how asthma. Much, how much did it cost? No, no, it's not that expensive. Um, just, no, I actually got mine for free. My grandmother my, that passed, uh, she actually had this nebulizer. Oh, wow. For, I don't know, for herself or who she bought it for. Um, but she got it like for free on the medical aid. Oh, wow. And then she gave it to me. Uh, that's actually where I got it. But, nice but I've got a friend that bought a nebulizer because they used to borrow our nebulizer. Yeah. But then one day they wanted a nebulizer. But I mean, my daughter was using it. So I said, look, you, I can't yeah, I'll give it to you. Yeah. That's and they went to go buy one at like this game for like 600 bucks or something. It's not expensive anymore. Back then, I can remember, I, That's I, when I was a kid, I had a nebulizer, but back then it was like big things, bro. It was the you nebulizer. Like a, like a suitcase, no? Exactly. Yeah, fucking exactly. Suitcase. I had this fucking big thing. Yes. It's like, you open up the suitcase and all your little um, nebulizer yeah. things yeah. Are, is like there and this fucking machine and this pipes. It's yes. a moose thing. Um, now, you know, the one I've got is a small fucking thing. There's no it's suitcase compact, or whatever. Yeah. It's, a little plane. it's just a little, it's just I've an air compressor, those, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. And, and yeah, obviously back then it was a hell of expensive, yeah. but I was, I had very bad asthma. So my, my mother and father, they needed to buy this thing for me. Um, but like when I got older, like high school, never used it. I was just lying mm. in the cupboard. Then I started not growing. I haven't grown out of it. I still have problems, okay. but not as bad as I was when yes. I was younger. Um, but now, unfortunately, my daughter's in the edit of this shit from me. So she's on the nebulizer quite often. Well, quite often. Like when obviously she gets yes. sick. And she, she actually hasn't gotten sick for a while. But the first couple of years of her life, really, oh, she was in hospital a lot. Yes. Actually, it's, it's since she started going to crash. That's when the cuck started. Really. Um, then she was in one year. It was in 2019. I can in the hospital three three times, Ru. Wow. It was like every four months. Yeah. And then the pediatrician had to book her in because the chest is way too bad and then she sits wow. on the oxygen there. Because there, uh, the the nebulizer isn't as good as the hospital's oxygen oh, yes. things. Oh, so yes. that, um, and shit. And then what, like, what, the next what? year again, the same shit happened and now they've t almost gotten it under control. She still gets sick every now and again, the chest, especially if she's outside with this wind and shit and it gets late. What triggers it, do you know? What is it? What triggers it? No fucking it's idea. Can't bro. Point. No, we don't know. It's yeah. just ugh, look. My mind was always always exercising these mostly. Is it? Exercise like if I run. Yeah. Like, ah, bruh. Mine was <laughs> mine was more like grass and stuff, man. Is it? So if I um, played outside mm. and uh, on the grass, then I'd like fucking get like. Uh, uh, um, my chest will get tight, not like a yes. really an attack, but and then if I if I a lot of times if I get um, 
like a flu, the flu. Yes. Then it, it, it changes oh, yes. into bronchitis. Oh yeah, same year. It, it fucking always changes into yeah, bronchitis. The would get yes, it and then it just that, where other people yeah. get your flu and it's mm. done. I get flu and then it goes to bronchitis it's and then I must yeah. be on these fucking or, or whenever it's like, and when it was like misty, like misty conditions. Yes. As well. um, so my daughter, it's more. I think it's also maybe grass and stuff, man. But but it's more if it's cold. So or like windy. So mm. if she's she'll play outside, we'll dry. And then usually look when it gets dark, then she has to go inside. Okay. We send them inside. Um, but she'll play and then sometimes it'll get a bit too late and it's a bit of a, a cold wind on the chest. Oh. Then she'll, you can, like the next day, uh, that, mm. that night she'll be fine, but like the next day then she'll start coughing and it'll yes. be phlegmy or whatever. Yes. Um, but yeah, look, we're trying to get it under control. She mm. goes to, to the pediatrician like every six months. Okay. Um, for a checkup then. To check up, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fuck, asthma is a... Cuck. And I it feels like everyone has asthma nowadays. Is it? Fucking I, hell. I just want to send a shout out to that doctor, that story I was telling you. Oh, yes. Because, yeah. like, he was so thorough, man. Like, yeah. when I went there, like... Proper. Summa, yeah, like, I, mm. I, I, I had the flu, like, a like bad flu, and I just... And then he gave me, like... Um, he, he didn't just come for the flu, but he, he, he checked my sugar level somewhere, yeah. and did this, and did this check, and did this check, and he asked me about my diet yes. somewhere, and... I was like, yo, okay, I should like, do, you, do you exercise and mm. blah, blah, blah. I was like, That, that is man. nice, bro. Yeah. Like same with my doctor. He also man. checks you out. He asks you, like, how did this injury happen? This and that, that. But I've been to doctors. It's just like in and out. In and out. It's just like they just, ah, oh, fuck, it's, it must be full. It must be a fluid. It must be this and that. Yeah. that there. Take a pole and walk off. Yeah. Um, or take your script and there you go. And it, and once you get a doctor like that, it's like, like I said, I now I need to find a new one. And it's like, yes, it's bro. Now, I see these doctors on the list, but I don't know any of them. You know, and I was like, I was like, I are they going to be the same? Are they yeah. going to be better? Are they going to be worse? I don't know, man. I think like, got to ask people, how is, how do you, how is your doctor? Mm. Does he do this and this and this? Yeah. And yeah, these days, you don't know, man. It is. Now, yeah, I must go there and just trial and error. hope. Yeah. It's a quiet doctor. And it's, yeah. Better to get like an old doctor. No, old the, the old ones. doctors are, yeah. but they cuck you out, dude. I had a doctor, yo. Um, I think it was like Dr. De Brain there in Brackenfeld somewhere. Mm. It was years back before I was at this other doctor. And uh, I used to go there and I never smoked. And then this day, I decided, fuck it, I'm going to smoke. My brother and myself, we went out to Stones the one night there in Durbanville. <laughs> and he used to smoke like uh, Daniel Blue, or, or no, Stuyvesant Blue, Light yeah. Blue. And I asked him, but because of my asthma, I never smoked because okay. it fucks me up. Yeah, I never smoked because I, I was, yeah, because of my chest and so on. Doctors always told me, don't smoke, <clears throat> fucking leave it. So that night, we like caring and he's smoking. I ask him, fuck it, just give me a smoke then. Ah, pulling, pulling, pulling. At the end of the night, we like smoke two packets, bro. That's what? It. And then I ask him, ah, fuck it. I'm That's so smoke. random. No, so much just out <laughs> of the blue. So never smoked before and I'm like, yeah, but I, what I've noticed is once you start drinking, a, a cigarette is lacquer, bro. Um, now, not so much. The other day, I actually took a puff from my fr one friend's cigarette and I was fucking horrible. Yeah, the taste in my mm. mouth, it was... I actually, I took a cigarette... Actually, he gave me an actual cigarette and I... Like, more than half of it, I just it's fucking disgusting. threw away. I thought, wow. Oh, I stand the smell of a cigarette. Crack. Yeah, same here. So anyway, uh, that night I started smoking and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm going to start smoking. And then I started, I bought myself a packet of... Feeling uh, a bit Yeah, in Blue. Yes. And I'm sitting in my house there, or my flat I had that time, I was still, I didn't have my wife or girlfriend or anything. And I asked him, yeah, watching TV, and free. now I'm getting bored. <laughs> yeah, no, free. Now I'm getting bored, I'm like, fuck, let's take a smoke. Yes. You know how horrible it was. Mm. It tasted so cuck. Then I re noted or realized, I'm a social smoker. Mm. I can't smoke by myself. Wow. If I haven't had a couple of drinks, it is so cuck. I hated it. Wow. And then we used to go out, my brother and myself, it was probably just lasted like a month. And we used to go out and have a couple of beers, whatever. Hey, then you smoke, bro. Then it's a pucky, two a pucky, it's makkelijk. Um, but the next day, my throat is so fucking sore as well. And then, but then I got sick, like really, really sick. My chest, moot, and I went to this doctor, this doctor, the brain. And he's like, oh, ask me, like, what? What's happening? Why? What happened? Is it something caused it? Do you smoke? Do you this? I tell him, yeah, look, I, I smoked. <laughs> I've been smoking for like the past month. Yeah, and this guy cucked me out, bro. Wow. It was like, fuck, my father cucking me out. There. So what really? the fuck was is that happening? Intense? Yeah, and I, uh, he put me on a nebulizer there. He took me to this little room and I was sitting on a nebulizer. And what did, he, yeah, what did I, he say to you? Like? I can't even remember, but I just remember this guy. I was like, 
what the fuck is happening here? Wow. This guy's like cucking me out for smoking. It's like, look, I was still young. I was obviously that, that was before my wife. So and you had I was like right? 19 or 20. Yeah. Yeah, obviously he knew what I had asthma. Maybe but, that's yeah. why. Yeah, he obviously was, it was, he yeah, he cut me out because of the asthma. Um, anyway, so then I stopped and I still had that like a half a packet, almost a full packet maybe left. Nice and I put it in my uh, drawer at home and I met my wife and we were like dating for a while, living in the same place for a while. And eventually she moved the stuff away. Um, but I mean, I never smoked it again. Yeah. Look, I've still, <clears throat> now, to the, like I said, I, I've, I've taken a couple of puffs and whatever, but mm. it's so cuck. I, even, I was actually drinking now, it was like two weekends ago. And when I took this fucking cigarette from a guy and he gave it, and it was so bad. I, it was not fun. But I must say, which is, I, I do vape. And uh, that's also <laughs> cuck. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm trying to <laughs> stop it. But yeah, I, I, I've... But that, that I've not been doing for the past, since last year, I think. I've not wow. started vaping, man. Um, and it's fucking addictive, bro. Yeah. No, it is. It and is. I, I honestly, I never thought I had this addictive personality to just... Look, I can go without it. So I, I only vape really on the weekends. Okay. Uh, from Monday to Friday or Thursday or whatever, I'll like be... It doesn't really bother me. On the weekends, do you, do you vape a lot though? You're like... Yeah, look, I buy like... I, I, I miss Monday to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I buy like these booze pods. It's like two pods. So I'll smoke those during the weekend. One like maybe on a Friday, one on a Saturday. Okay. Um, and then during from like Sunday to like Thursday, I won't. But I'm still trying to quit because this shit's getting expensive, bro. That's With this, this tax that they've put on this vape vapes now, the vape oh, juice. Wow. It's a mood of a lot. I used to... That's right. I, I think it's valid. <laughs> no, no, it is. Because it's, 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 it's going to kill you. But... There, I must also say, it's a healthier alternative to smoking. Is it really? No, it is. It's really. We have, we cigarettes have, we, have we haven't done much research on the chemicals they use. No, but they have. There's, oh, is it? There's actually the Health Institute of South Africa, whatever. They were actually criticizing the government for this because they're now making it more expensive to smoke vape than because it's a healthier alternative because cigarettes apparently oh. have over a thousand or I don't know much, how much oh, so it's chemicals much more expensive in it. now for vaping. Yeah, it went up do you like... Know, do you know why? Because the tobacco company... Tobacco company... <laughs> tobacco company is suffering. Exactly. So that's why... Big tobacco. So, so that's why they're putting this tax on. So it's causing people back to cigarettes exactly. now. So the big tobacco companies can actually make more money exactly. again. Exactly. Because I used to buy a little pod... A uh, pod... A uh, little... Fucking thing, asshole. And, right and, and, immediately. Yeah, 125 wow. mil thing. A uh, juice. Bottle of juice for like... Your 100 and... 15 rand, 110 rand. Then you even got ones that were like 70 rand. Oh, wow. It was like cheap. Then now from June or July, they brought in a tax of like extra 2 rand 90 per milliliter. Per, mil per milliliter? Holy shit. Per mil, bro. You wow. know the fucking sky. So it's tripled in price almost. Wow. Now it's gotten so expensive. Um, oh. And uh, they, there was a whole article. You should go Google it, man. It's... Um, they said, look, it's not, look, anything you smoke, it's not fucking healthy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. still for your lungs. Uh, but the thing, the one good thing is it doesn't have tar. It's just got the nicotine, mm. but I, it's I, got less chemicals in it mm. where cigarettes apparently has got like over a thousand different yes. chemicals where vaping also obviously has some chemicals, but it's much less. I, I listen to this podcast, like this guy, the Uberman Lab podcast, mm. like, very interesting guy, scientist. Everything he speaks about is based on research, yes. and science, science, and, yeah, yeah. Know, so he's not talking cock. Like whether you like the message he's mm -hmm. giving, a, a, he's giving effects, not feelings, not it's emotions. Proved. It's, it's exactly, proved. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So he was also describing like the difference between cigarettes and like the nicotine, and yeah. the tar and vaping and cigarettes, and he was saying like. Um, the main thing, the biggest thing about the vaping is, is the dopamine hit. Y yeah, the, 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 bro, he, it gives you a hit. He says, like, it's it's so, it, the dopamine, it's so massive. Mm. And it's much more addictive than cigarettes. It is. Because and of the, the flavors as well. Yes. Because it's, it tastes lacquer as well. Yes. So he mm. said, like, that, that fucks up your dopamine baseline, mm. doing that. And that, that that's a concern, especially for kids as well. Because mm. now it's appealing for kids because of the smoke and stuff. Mm. And, yeah. It, it's basically like a, a portable hooker. I don't know if you yes, remember. Yes, yes. Yeah. I've got one at home. You still got one uh, I well. actually bought, uh, I got it when I was like standard nine or whatever, uh, what, grade I, 11. I, My father bought it yeah, for me and it, this, it's still standing there. Yeah, this ex <laughs> I don't use it though. Ex at, okay, at the time this chick bought it for me. 
uh, I, I called it, what did I call it? Sir Wesley Pipes. Yeah, I remember. Sir that. Wesley Pipes. Yeah. <laughs> it was wild. It was a wild time of my life. Like, I started that. That was weird. But it, it fucked me up because, like, mm. I... I, had, I was born with asthma, I grew up with yes. asthma. And that's then, a lot of smoke. You know, and then I, I, I got rid of it somehow. I was like, yeah, I'm asthma free. And then I started living this unhealthy lifestyle with so many pipes and drinking and all this kind. It came back faster than an ex-girl wanting child support. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it came back so hard. I, was, no. I couldn't understand. Like, I saw my wake up in the middle of the night and coughing and stuff. Yes. I was like, wait, what's going on? And I just had to stop. And then I changed my lifestyle and then it went away again. Mm. I was gone. No, it is. Look, I, um, I can remember smoking that, uh, the hubli or the hookah. And uh, it used to be my sister, her husband, myself and my wife. Now we'd sit around the table at their house. If I can just puffing on this thing. They had a, like, a big one with like two pipes. Yeah. Ooh. And my sister also, she never wait, smoked. Wait. What do you mean two pipes? One on each side. No, I, I had four. Four, I yes, four. you had a party I one, bro. Four. You had one for a party. I was like, bro, we levels is levels. Nurses. And it's a big one. It was like Your, this big. It was like this big. That's yeah. massive. Yeah. No, I've, the one I've got is a small yeah. one. It's like, like that, but it's only oh, got one pipe. Oh. Theirs was also quite high, but it only had two pipes, one on each side. Oh. And it was a weed. And my sister never smoked either. And But the flavors, again, yeah. you throw your what, triple apple and mm. red apple and cuck like it. I remember and, that. And we used to smoke that. And it, but... And I got lekker, bro, but that next day, my throat is on throat, fire. Yes. All that smoke. Yeah. And I noticed, because I used to play soccer back then. Uh, so, like, I noticed, like, my fitness level was cuck. Oh, yeah. It was terrible. No, that shit fucks you up, bro. And, and, and going back to the dopamine th stuff that you were talking about, um, with the vapes, I actually, when I started vaping, I think that's also what got me hooked, is, like, uh, you take a pool, especially like the first couple of pools, mm. you, all, you get this rush. rush. You're like, what the yes, fuck? That's so cool. And you just yes, keep chasing this rush. Yes. And you know what? The cigarettes did the same thing to me. Mm. Um, and then, anyway, but now, I don't get this rush anymore, man. Mm. And I was... That's I, because your baseline is year now. Yeah. So now you can't go year now anymore. Exactly. Because I actually, uh, one of my friends, where I also uh, took a couple of cigarettes from before I was vape vaping. And I, every time I used to take a cigarette, but he used to smoke those ones. I think it's Daniel where it's got this little thing that you squash in the filter. And that's like menthol. Oh, it's like, yo, that's quite. That's interesting. I never but still, you got before. this cuck aftertaste. It's yo. like horrible. But we anyway. Used, we, we used to be with... Okay, sorry. Go yeah. okay, no. okay. So, and I was telling this guy, yes, it's brutal, but it's so lucky. This fucker high that you get when you like puff the mm. thing. And he, he also told me, no, he doesn't get the high anymore. Um, it's it's you get used to it, and I thought to myself, fuck, how do you get used to this? So, but now, so, so what is he chasing now then? No, he actually yeah. stopped smoking, he's now vaping, okay. Um, as well, he's not doing vaping, but I mean, even like I said, I've gotten so used to that, it mm. it doesn't affect me anymore. Yeah. I don't get it, I just mm. you're pulling, it's just really habit now. Yes. You sit there uh, and it's just like... A social, so what do you do with your hand now? But, but, like, ex yeah. but exactly, it's a habit. It's the same point when I have a drinking, like, mm. like, like when I want to stop drinking, it's like, well, what do you do when you go to a party now? Like, my hands are empty, like, I need to have something in my hand. But it least, is, it's like a habit, you need yeah, to do something exactly. all the time. And that's exactly what you're saying, you stand there with your beer and you so take a sip and it, take a sip the whole time. Or you take way, your cigarette yeah. or your vape yes. and it's just you pulling the whole time. Yes. Dude, we, we used to we used to be like like these, these sign, these, these biochemical... Extraordinaries when it came to hookup pipes, man. Like, uh, uh, we used to like, we used to join two. Oh, really? Together. Yeah. To bind the flavors through each one. So you put one flavor here, put one flavor here. Yeah. And you can, you, you pull the one and it comes through the other one. And then it How the fuck combined. did you do that? Did you like hook up the two uh, outlets? The two, yeah. We, we bought, we even <laughs> bought like, you know, the, the pipe that it comes yes. with, right? So we had to, we, what we do, what we did was we realized like, if you buy these tubes, it's it's like these transparent tubes, man. Uh -huh. They pull better. Oh. And they fit, and, and you can, and the way you connect them is yeah. with these tubes. Oh, so, okay. Fuck, this kid is watching now. <laughs> I don't want to give away. <laughs> Getting this. ideas, yeah. yeah. And and that's how we connect Kids, them. don't do this at home. Don't, please, <laughs> never do this. This is my old life. Yes. But um, that's how we connected them, Dave, and it would take you to a different universe but it was it was like wow like these two uh, flavors combined like wow yeah. it was amazing mixing the shit Cause, cause it, because it wasn't like you were just mixing two flavors in one yes. cup it pulls know? out of both both yeah so it's like so you get both heats yes, at the like, same time crazy 
I, crazy. You know what? I was so stupid. Again, with the kids. When we were younger, <laughs> we were stupid. We yeah. were crack. Learn from our mistakes. Yeah. Can you learn, please? I was actually, I was in school still. And uh, I had a friend. And I don't know where we heard that you can smoke tea bags, bro. What? The worst <laughs> fucking idea ever. <laughs> what? I've and, never heard that before. Yeah. No, I think we. Oh, someone, you, uh, I think someone just told Kak because you, uh, you cannot smoke. Fake that news. Shit. Fake it news. was. Um, and uh, like last resort, like you know, we need desperate. It you is. Want to smoke something. And we, I didn't even smoke back then. Uh, I was in school. I, I, I had the pipe now and whatever. Yeah. But and I, I can't remember how we did it. If I put it in the in the ablie or if we did it some other way. But I can remember we like took a tea bag from our house. I don't know if it was a Roy or what. <laughs> and we've lit this thing. But you know how. Coughed, it fucking hit me. It was so Whoa. sore on my lungs. Um, we only did it once, probably only one pull each, yes. and it was like, fuck this. this, is, this is. But the stu- that's why I'm saying the stupid things kids do, man. Yeah. I mean, now, I mean, common sense tells you, you can't smoke you, fucking yeah. tea, bro. You can't. Uh, what is wrong with you? you but then can't. it's just like, ah, let's try it. Let's try it. Fucking, and it was the worst let's mistake know. ever. What, uh, what we also used to do, like, we used to. Instead of putting one coal on the cup, it's to put two coals on. Two. That pulls amazing. Yes, but that heats it up a that, lot, probably. That, no, it does. But I mean, like, once you get over the initial like harshness, like yeah. that, the heat from the, that you get there, is, yeah. like, it's crazy. But did you guys ever throw like ice blocks in your water? Yes. Bro, yes. It's like a cold. Now you're bringing back memories. It's now. a cold you shot, bro. That did, used did, to did be like. Did you even put alcohol in the water as well? No. Yeah, did we, I? We, we tried that. I'm trying to think if we did. I can't all remember kind, that. All kinds I, of what I can shit. remember though, yeah. once again, it was a lighty. <laughs> we had a lighty's party um, at this bong. Ach, bong. Or pipe. And he actually pissed in the thing. Because was some, I don't know why we didn't have water. Whoa. But he peed in the thing and we smoked it through this. What, was that consensual? Like, please piss in here so we can have water. I can't remember. <laughs> was it like a trick like this brown, like just... Ping around the corner, I honestly so. can't remember. I know it was at his birthday party. Wow. I don't even know it was if it was his piss or whose piss it was, but someone pissed in this thing. Mm. And we smoked through that. That was disgusting. Look, it was so many years back, I can't remember if you could taste anything or what, but uh. it's like stupid fucking things we yeah. do, man. It's like, why did it's I even still think? Thing you know? <laughs> or maybe he told us afterwards <laughs> he pissed in it. I don't know, but it's like, yeah. why would you do this cuck? Yeah. Ah, oh, no, look, I was so stupid when I was a light. That's insane. <laughs> but like I said, that... We all did some fucked up shit. It is, but yeah. the ice thing was the best. Yo, that was, that so was like cool a cold throat, heat. Man. Exactly, yes, that was like mental. Yes. I mean, you take a lacquer shot and it's like, ooh, wow, that's yeah. lacquer. I can remember, we did the ice quite yeah, we, a bit. I remember we used to force the blocks in it because it was... Yes, because the, the hole is too small. Yeah, it's like, yes, cup I over remember. it. <laughs> no, ice, wow. no. Nah. No, if you think back of all the cuck you caught on when you were a lighty, you know, I can remember also when we were when I was a lighty, I used to smoke some weed, and uh, we used the we used the tin. A tin. We, I didn't have bongs or shit like that. You were doing a scallop, you, you couldn't a, buy, but like a tin? coke tin. A co- so I yeah, like a that. tin, you you like squash it on the on the side. Yeah. Um, like make like a like a little dent in it, like the one side is like flat almost, and you poke holes in the one side. And you put your weed on there, and then you light it, then you pull out the, the yeah, where you drink your coke from. like a bomb. You, yeah, type of thing like that. And we, we, we made this thing, we call it Arnie. Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Took a two liter coke bottle, uh, threw water, made, we made a bong. The two liter coke bottle, took two, uh, three hose pipes, one, two hose pipes on the side, and one in front. And then you, with foil, you made like a little cup to put the weed in. And then, the, the, you pull through the hose pipes and then we wow. put a, what we call a ch- we I always called it a choke. We call it a choke. So you make like a hole in the thing. You oh, obviously put the cap on and then you like make a, a little, you like, yeah, you like yeah, clutch. clutch. We yeah. use like a clutch, clutch uh, yes, yes, <laughs> or a choke. Yes. Um, and then you like pull, pull, pull and you release the thing as like, yeah. yes, and that thing fucking hits you, bro. Wow. But that thing we called Arnie. Arnold, bro, because oh. <laughs> it was, I don't know, we came up with these cuck ideas. Wow. And there was another thing, we smoked it through an apple. Have you tried that? Oh, bro? wow. Look, you don't get the taste of the apple, it's apple. just a smoke. But it's like I... you, you make a hole on the one side, um, at the top, you like drill a hole through, and then on the bottom, you also drill like a hole or make a hole with a knife so it mm. connects. Mm. And again, with like foil or something, you, you put the weed there and you pull it from the top, the apple. 
You lie there, you feel. Shit. It was just we just caught on so much cut, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck we were thinking, but yeah. the only thing was my best invention oh, ever. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. so lekker with that choke. It's like oh, that, oh, that fuck, <laughs> fuck, murdu, you sure. done. Yeah, man, like, good times, man. Now we now we're just out and get trout and well, yeah, canners and all this. Now I mean, yeah, and I think back in that, I, I think I, yeah, that's my daughter going to be that stupid, that stupid. But I was a lighty. Yeah. I mean, girls are smarter. I think. We I hope. hope, we <laughs> hope, hope. So. We hope so. Yeah, no, I sure. Nah, like the things like I think back now, I was like, how am I still alive? Le, le. I, I, I'm just glad. Also, there were no camera phones or something back then. Because mm. yeah. There was no evidence of nothing. No. Look, my parents, I only told them about all this caca I, I caught on years oh, later. When I was like an adult already, out of the house, I had my own house, old child, and I, I was like, they can't do anything now to yeah, me anymore. It, it done, it's like, done. So they know about it. And it's like, yeah, this shit we caught. It. But you know what, now? It, back then, it was better days, man. It was yeah. like, in the sense of like, we were more my outside also. It, but that's exactly, my daughter will never play outside. Sure. She will never walk in the road or whatever. Um, where I, when I was lighting, we were walking up at 12 o'clock the night. We were like walking we down were, the streets. We were in and the streets there. Exactly, like, literally, literally in the streets. Yeah. And like just walking around and talking cuck and catching on cuck, playing uh, night, talk talkie yo, and shit talk like that. Was the best. Now they'll fucking shoot you bro, if you try something like that. Um, that's why my, my, your our kids, sure. they'll never know what it was like yeah. in our days. I still see kids walking in the streets and I think to myself, yeah, where's your parents? Bro- even in broad daylight, man. Yes. Yo, like you never say. No, anyway. my daughter will never walk in the streets, ever, if I'm not there. Um, and it, it, it's very sad, bro. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it was, but when you we were younger, it was like a normal thing. You play cricket in the streets. Yeah. Can you remember that? Yo, of I course. mean, you block off the whole street Yo. and we fucking mooring balls and the whole neighborhood's kids are there. Lekker. Cricket or we play touch rugby that was or a vibe. ride our bikes in the Yo, roads. Sucker. And it was it was just like you said, it was a vibe, bro. Now you don't see this shit anymore. You don't, especially with school holidays, you would like look forward to oh, playing, yes. playing in the road. Mm-hmm. With all the kids, bro, the, just like in the. I, I grew up like we I had like what they call a latch key. Mm-hmm. So after school, like this is like normal, like after school, you yeah. just go fetch the key by the neighbor. Oh yeah. And then you alone hold it. Yes. And you just go in, you make your food or whatever, and you go play outside. And exactly. school holidays, you at home, you wake up, you alone. And you didn't parents worry. Parents at work, and you exactly. go and you catch on cock and whatever. Yeah, exactly. And your parents would give you these tasks to, to keep at home. Yes, and yes. Like fuck, I'm you need to out. clean. You <laughs> need to wake up the room. Yeah, you must like, uh, wash the dishes, cuck, whatever. Cuck, it's like I'm on holiday, man. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go work, not me. You know it's not my I mean? fault. Yeah, I remember those days, man. Like, so I, I don't know. I had the sense of independence when I was a young, a young, lighty already, like mm. doing my own thing and looking after myself, so to speak. No, but you, you're hundred percent right, man. It was all, and I think all kids really, our generation really, mm. it was just. Your parents didn't really care. Not, mm-hmm. not they didn't care, but they didn't yeah. worry about safety really. Yeah, they it weren't was that you, concerned about exactly. You, you walk get, around you're and they're gonna steal you today. Exactly, yeah. uh, like <laughs> no. kidnappings wasn't like yeah. a thing really. Step for the like now, the... <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we used to walk around the bu- they, next out of school, my primary school actually. There was this moose bush next to it, and then I, there was this combi that used to pick me up and take me home and whatever every day because I lived quite far from school. Ice cream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ice cream. Com- I yeah. think of combi now. Yeah. Yeah, ice cream. yeah, it was like the school yeah. transport type thing. Yeah. So then we'd wait for this thing because he and I had to uh, go to other schools first and it, mm. like we mm. waited for like maybe two hours before we got picked up or an hour and a half. Or so. so we'd, uh, everyone that used to take this combi, we'd go into the bushes next door bro, and we'd run around there and oh, wow. but it's like thick bush this fucking trees and bush and fucking and it was actually quite scary bro. so yeah. they would try and play uh, everyone plays pranks on each other so then all of a sudden everyone just fucking runs away from you leaves you alone here in the middle of the fucking bush and you're like what the fuck and oh. then down the get bang bro oh. I, I mean all of a sudden you get Panic. you get a scared because you're alone here yes. and there's nothing there and there was always stories about people living in the bush Holy and cack like that there was monkeys in this bush actually Yo. um and then you fucking run, bro. And it's like, you're trying to find your friends and they just, oh, I hate it. I'm like, you bastards. But then again, I did it as well. <laughs> then the next day, we'll trick someone else yeah. again. And we're like, yeah, this is fun, bro. This yeah. guy's scared. But when it happens to you, it was like, cuck. <laughs> yeah, 
Nah, bro. Yes. Yeah, a lot of those experiences, man. And I remember, like, the other day I was thinking, like, when I was running, I think a lot of cock when I ran. Yeah. Like, I was thinking but like, you know, how many times, like, I fell, man. No. Like, like how many times, like, you scar your legs and stuff. Like, these kids these days, they want to understand, like, what it's yeah. like to hurt your knee. Can and you remember? And I, this is, uh, actually, I was talking to my, I don't know who I was talking to. When I was younger, mm-hmm. playing in the streets, barefoot, obviously. We didn't oh. fuck around, around with no, shoes. Hold on a second, David. We, we different like that. <laughs> we <laughs> really? Don't, we weren't really a barefoot, like, co- Not. colored people. Like, we don't, we don't really... Not even when you were, like, primary school. Nah, we had shoes mostly. Nah, like, fuck, bro. We used to run around. Maybe, like, when you're at home, yeah. But when you're Is in it? the streets, no, put on your shoes. Yeah, like, <laughs> but, I mean, we used to go run around in the streets at the back. Fucking barefoot. That's not a primary school. Mm. And I always, it happened on a regular, bro. You kick your toe against the fucking cement, the tar. And that, uh, the tip of your toe, like, fucking comes off, bro. Fuck. Yeah. And now you must go to you school. You mean the toe or the toe? Like? The actual toe, the skin. Fuck. Like, there, oh, the, oh, the tip. skin. I thought the actual toe. No, okay. like, the skin on the toe, like, ah, there, yes, comes fuck. off. It's like, makes this flap. Because oh, you've, like, shit. kicked it. That's cock sore. As a cock sore, bro, and I'd bleed and whatever. Yeah. And now you must go to school on Monday, you must put on socks and shoes, oh. and then you come back and that blood's like ah, hardened on the sock. Shit. Now I must take the ah, sock off. Shit. And you know, that hasn't happened to me in so many years, and, and I don't even think it really happens to kids anymore because they've I'm always sure got shoes on. Yes. Well, you say, look, you bro- got brought up with school <laughs> shoes. When I was like, there was no shoes, bro. We don't care about fuckers. You had your pluckies. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. you want to play rugby in the streets or whatever, yeah. you go. Mom, look, I, now I don't always, get, go anywhere without shoes. My mother always told when I was growing up, like, whenever I left the house, like, don't wear pluckies. Uh, God, in case you have to run. In case, <laughs> in case, yes. No cock. No cock. Ah, yeah. It shows I, I you. That mentality, it shows like, you how you grew up, bro. Like, if the police is out, you need there, to bro, run. You can't <laughs> run with flackies. You can't run. Like if the police is there, bro, like you but, gotta. But now yeah. I understand why you always a choose on. <laughs> you know, you know. You know, I didn't have that problem. <laughs> I, I grew up white, bro, so I didn't have that shit. Yeah, um, like, like, bro, like I grew up in apartheid, bro. So but, yeah, but exactly. It's crazy. It was, but it, it, it shows you actually, the two of us can sit and talk about yeah. this cuck. Back then, how different we grew how up. Different. That's why, that's maybe why you always had shoes on. Because mm. you knew maybe the day's going to come and you're going to have to fuck around exactly. around uh, away from the bureau or yeah, something because it's, of it's whatever cuck. Exactly. Like I, I, and I, I never only, had that worries. I only got exposed to like white people when I went to high school. Like, my primary school was opposite my house. Like, uh, so I, I just, like, in the, like, like literally, like, my house was here, this yes. school. So I'd walk to school, like, literally, across the road. Oh. But high school, I actually decided, you know what, I'm going to go. Outside your area. Outside. <laughs> I want to go see what life is like. Like, many reasons why, but I think, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I'm going to go there. That was a culture shock. I was like, what the fuck? No. This is, is this real life? These people live different. You know, because like, <laughs> if, if you grow up in that environment, mm. that's all you know. You're used to something. That's, that's all mm. you know, because you're like living like this. Mm. I mean, from my house to school is like, literally like, I, I still be late to school because like, uh, <laughs> because like, I've been I mean, you just I live know, right yeah. opposite the road. <laughs> and when I hear the siren for the school, I run to school. I need to go now. I was like, shit, I need to go. Like, literally, like, because that's like, yes, yes. so it's like, but now I decided, you know, I'm going to go to this like, other high school and it was a like, cause like, what is white people? Like, wow. Because no? the school was predominantly white. Yes, yeah. Predominantly white. And I was like, wow, they, it's Afrikaans. It's so safe. Also, like, yes. what the fuck does those words mean? No. Like, I was like. What's <laughs> here, young man? I was like, what? <laughs> four portal. And I was like, what the fuck is a four portal? And yeah, I was bro. like, all this cack, like this massive words they use. And I was like, and everything was Afrikaans. So I was like, god damn, what, no? what, did, I, what did I sign up for? Like. It was crazy. But, but you know, uh, the way you also only was introduced to white people at a certain time, I was also really, if I think back, look, my primary school, obviously Afrikaans or whatever, and I grew up in Durban, so there wasn't really Afrikaans speaking coloreds or blacks oh. or whatever like that. <clears throat> but also my primary school was just around the corner. We walked to school, my sister, oh. myself. High school, though, I went to a different school. that was far away. Fuck, my, I had to be dropped off there and picked up there. It was cuck far. But again, it was a white school. Mm. Um, we had like colored people there, like one colored family in the school. Mm. Um, they moved down like from Cape Town or whatever. Oh, okay. Um, but also not really. It, look, I think they were older than me or younger than me. So I never mm. really even mixed with them. <clears throat> I only really started mixing with other colors 
when I was races. Uh, right, yeah, yeah races. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. When I when I uh, after mm. school. Yeah. And I think it was well, most people maybe like that back in our day. Mm. Um, you stuck to your areas and whatever. Yeah. And uh, I was actually on my way here when I was driving, like, uh, driving here. I was thinking. I wonder how Alvin grew up to. <laughs> compared to, but that compared yeah, to me. Because so I mean, you call it, I'm white. Yeah, it's obviously, it's, yeah. back then it was different. And and what I was actually thinking of is, like the apartheid, do you actually remember anything about apartheid? Mm. I, I feel it, to me, I was too young, really. Mm. Look, I was born in the 80s, um, late 80s, and uh, it was, there was a little bit of apartheid before the whole thing changed in 94. Yeah. But I never noticed it. I because, look, because I, I think we, I was just too young. I think because we were young, we were, like, sheltered also from... Exactly, you didn't... Didn't understand. Your parents, look, my parents would obviously know about it, your parents. Yeah. But I was, like, just... I, whatever I had was just... I was just... Was it was it. just what it is. I didn't know... I didn't even really know about that existed until I obviously started growing brains and... <laughs> like I, growing uh, brains. I learned about it <laughs> and shit like it. Brains. Yeah, I mean, when you were lighty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it, it, it's weird how we grew up... The, mm. Yeah, but it is weird. Like we we don't we we the background is so different. We grew up different. Not yeah because of apartheid was there. Mm. But it's like we weren't exposed to different cultures at yes. a certain age. Like until Mandela was free. Or whatever yeah, yeah, the case yeah. Maybe exactly. But, but even but even when like I don't know what it was like for you, but when mm. I started. Um, experiencing different cultures and we see different people and then it's like you still had that feeling of like they didn't want you around yes kind of vibe uh, I, they, I know what you're talking about like, yeah. like you don't belong here or like yes you know it's like you don't fit in here you don't you shouldn't be here mm. like you're just here because they freed Mandela <laughs> exactly of vibe and, no no and I think I think actually that was the truth it wasn't just a feeling mm. I think there was actually truth to that oh yeah um, a lot of people couldn't really handle the fact that this shit was mm, happening. Yeah. Especially the older people. Especially the older uh, people. Like the teachers maybe and mm. things like that. I think maybe some kids because they got it from the parents. But I think like me, like I said, there was a colored, colored family. I think it was a boy and a girl. Um, but I didn't really pay uh, any attention to it anyway. I was yeah. just doing my own thing. So... I don't really care what the fuck they did. Yeah. Uh, I know the light he played like first team rugby. I think it was like scrum off or something. Uh, quite good. Um, but I, it, I don't know, man. Oh no, there was another family. They moved out and then the yeses. But uh, let me tell you this: <laughs> where the fucking stigmas come from? And this yeah. fucker lighty, coloured lighty. Okay. Uh, he's a black son of yours. You know, man. There's always in the white community. Um, I always think to yourself. Uh, it used to always be. Yeah, no, colors. Yeah, don't fuck around with it. They're gonna fucking stab you with a knife, dude. I'll just slightly face you. I'll just take mess. <laughs> that, that, that's how the white people think. Oh, wow. um, And mm. uh, I don't know if it's true or whatever, but that was always, if you think, um, when it's you were lighty, don't bro. fuck around, bro, because you can, uh, we always thought, look, if it comes to a first fight, the whitey, whitey's are gonna go block some of these colors. Yeah. But yeah. they're gonna go, go to their car and fetch knives and they're gonna go come fuck us up. That, that was always the thinking. And, <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, and then there was this colored Oki in my school. Um, I don't know, I can't even remember where he came from because he, he didn't have like a brother and sister, it was just him. And he actually fucking stabbed the IT with a knife. Holy shit. And that oh, actually just cool. enforced that whole Whoa. thing like, don't oh, fuck it out with these colored IT, they're gonna fucking stab you with a knife. Wow. And he's, but he brought this fucking hunting knife, moves the thing to school. Wow. And he stabbed, lucky he didn't like stab me like through, but he stabbed yeah. him in his arm, I think he on his arm. And it was like a fucking hole in his arm. Holy shit. Um, and you know the best part of all, he was like suspended for a week. Wow. He still came back to school, bro. Just for a week. I don't know what happened, how it happened. I mean, That's fuck, funny. I would assume you stab <clears throat> something and you <clears throat> fucking get out of there, bro. You spend forever. I, I oh, that stereotype, like, I, I had a few knives <laughs> when I was alive. You see? So it's not, it's the truth. But hold on. <laughs> I, I just, honestly, like, I just like the designs of knives. Uh, I didn't, I, didn't, like I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't intend to use it for harm or stuff. Like, I just liked the way, it, like, like, you know, you get the switchblade knives, you get mm. to flick it. 
Yeah, oh yes, the, I remember those, yeah, those butterfly knives yeah, the, as well. The butterfly knives, because I, because it's quite tricky, especially the butterfly knife and how mm. to use yeah. the technique to it. So, yeah, <laughs> so you, you don't learn. cut your finger off. Exactly, you literally will. So it's like I always like was interested in like I didn't like a Swiss Swiss Army knife. Yes, yeah. You know, all the gadgets. Yes, and stuff. I love so, those knives. So like I, I was very intrigued by knives. Like I even yeah. I got myself a knife recently. A, a, call it a special ops knife, mm. but I use that but like, like 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 on the mountain or running. Yes. So I'll keep that with me uh, for like safety reasons. Because yes. I, I will stab a motherfucker if need be. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if need be. If like, need be. Like, you're a bro. Because I initially got it just for the mountain. Mm. Uh, for like, in case I need protection. it for... Yeah, but especially there in Table Mountain, they're forever robbing people and yeah, whatever. Yeah, but I won't say really for protection. It was mostly for, I don't know, in case I see like a wild... Cat, they wanted to fuck me up. You can fucking you know? stab this cat. Stab Skin cat. him. Like, like, You're well, gonna I'll, be on my pillowcase tonight, dude. You know I'm, like, I'm not gonna go out to kill a cat. Yeah, but but if he wants but, to fuck around. But there was an occasion. <laughs> He's where gonna this, find out. This cat was at, on the mountain, huh? wild cat. And it's not a fucking domesticate. Those yeah. cats are not domesticated. Uh, those cats are wild cats. But they, it's like big cats. They come for you. Yeah, like much bigger than a fucking house cat. Oh, okay. Like a it's, wrinkle. Not a wrinkle. What do they call it? Roika type of thing. Nee, nee, nee. Karakal. Karakal. Yes, Karakal, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That shit was so... That shit, that shit just told me and it was aggressive as fuck. Uh, that shit just wanted to attack me. So yes. I was like, in case something like that happens again, you know, then I'm at least prepared. Yeah. He's probably still going to fuck me up, mm. but, but I'm going to get something out of it. You mm, know what mm. I mean? Like, I'm going to do something that's gonna, he's going to run. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, case like that. And also, in case, like, it, a robbery happens or something. Mm. And then the other day, also, I was running in Durbanville. These three guys wanted to come for me. They, they, they wanted to stop me. I was running. And I, fuck, I didn't have a knife with me that day. Mm. Uh, that was, like, two weeks ago, I think. Yeah? Yeah, I was running. I was running alone. I was, like, running alone. Also. Yeah, yeah. So, I was running, and then as the three guys wanted to come. I, was, I, I immediately like because because you know I'm from the streets I'm, I'm no. <laughs> so I could recognize what really, 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 really was happening so one guy was running was, was walking a bit behind these two guys coming on this side and this uh, guy they wanted to like surround you type exactly thing. And, yeah. the, and I could see this one guy he was like looking at me up and down like you, you see like what, what he can take or just steal your watch and your fucking my, phone and your earphones or whatever yeah. you can see like what yeah. you're doing there's a this. couple of bucks yeah exactly I'm yeah. looking at this guy and like you don't stop some, you don't ask somebody to stop and you put your hand here, man. So I was like, that, uh, it's a red flag. Oh, so he like actually, he did, he did, he like grabbed you? No, no, no. Like, he, he had this denim jacket on. So, but oh, did he put his hand on him? So he, so he put his hand inside the jacket. Oh, okay. So I was like, no ways. So I, was, so, so I kept on running, but I gave him this look like, I wish a fucking nigga would. Like, I wish, I wish you <laughs> please, would. Please. Today. Please, bitch. Please, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm Stop saying? Stop me like, now, today. And, 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 and he just backed off. I was like, bro, I, I'm, I'm not just gonna stand still. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking somebody with me today. No, but that's also that's always been my thing as well. I mean, look, man, there can be ten of these fucking guys. I'm gonna go down swinging. Exactly. I'm gonna fucking, yeah. I'm gonna land something. Yeah. I'm gonna get moored, but iemand gaan omvoel. Someone's gonna get hurt you know? with me. <laughs> and, and I'm thinking like, cause that day specifically, I was like, nah. I'm running in Durbanville, it's going to be okay. But exactly, you and expect it's, Durbanville it's broad, is like safe yeah, area, broad, whatever you think. It's broad daylight and stuff. And these and guys wanted like, to rob you. And I was like, are you out of your fucking mind? Not Yo. today. And I was thinking like, today I have, I've got a bit of an injury. Like, I'm not going to be able to be as mobile. Mm. But, I'm, but, but you're going to try your best. Yeah. I'm not going to let them know that. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, but I want to smell that fear, that weakness. Yes. It's over, bro. You know, I've never been in that situation that would where someone I'm trying to think if I have but I don't think I have ever been in a situation where someone's tried to rob me I can remember I used to work in Montego Gardens um, and there was there was this old guy I was like I used to install like four post lifts these lifts that pick up cars and stuff mm. I was called the hydraulics engineer oh anyway but I was actually just happy there <laughs> <laughs> I was working underneath with this old toppy okay. um, I think his name was Neville or something Shout out, I think this guy's probably dead. Shout out to Neville. Yeah, I think he's dead right now. Because he had like a heavy heart problems and shit. Oh, shame. Um, but I like a topi. That we used to talk like a cuck. But I used to drop, he never used to have a car. And he used to live in Bota Sikh. So I used to drop him oh. off. Um, be like there in the back road of, of Montague Gardens. There was like a bush. And he'd like, like walk there across the, across the N7 and mm. go home to Bota Sikh. Anyway, because it's just too far for me to go drop him off and still go home. Because I, back then I used to work, he, uh, stay in Paro. And uh, I can remember I dropped this guy off there. Um, and then there's like this uh, this bush, little path that they walk through. And then there's an opening. 
And he was like walking through here and I'm like, <clears> okay, I'm going. But I check my back, a rear mirror and this guy comes running back through. And stop, 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 stop. And luckily I'm checking my rear view mirror because I'm checking where this guy's going. Mm. Yes, and I stop and I reverse and this guy runs and he climbs in the car. Holy so shit. So I had to drop him off that day and he said, nah, fuck, he was walking. And uh, I can't remember what exactly he said, but somewhere <clears throat> these guys came out the bush or something and tried to like surround him and he knew oh. he's cock bro. And he ran. <clears throat> and luckily I was still there and I picked him up and I dropped him at home. And I'm like, okay. But luckily... I've been very sheltered, I think, where I haven't really had problems like that. I've been exposed, uh, to, exposed that, yeah. to shit like that. Yeah. Uh, many people have, yeah. not me, touch wood again. <laughs> but uh, I tell you what, bro, I'll go, oh, well, I've been, yeah, I had other problems. <laughs> 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 Almost yeah. stabbed, bro. Yo, did I tell you the story when shit, I, uh, last no. year? Last um, year? Or was it, yeah, it was last year, May. I was in an accident with my car. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I told you. The car you have now. <clears throat> yeah. No. I actually went to go. My my wife. She she worked in um, uh, Brackenfell, like the industrial area. Mm. She was working there, and uh, I was actually on my way to go fetch her. So well, I actually did fetch her. My mother was still was visiting here, so she was sitting in the back. My wife in the front, and we okay. coming back. I fetched her, come back, <laughs> and I was going down Old Paul Road. Okay. Towards. Um, Okavango, mm. up towards Cape Gate, because yes. I live in Cryfen on that side. Don't tell people you live in the streets, bro. Cryfen is <laughs> fucking big, bro. <laughs> Come find me, motherfucker. <laughs> <You're honest>. <laughs> <laughs> he did not mean that. <laughs> no, did don't, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you want to, I've got two big fucking dogs. <laughs> anyway, sorry, uh, getting off the fucking subject. Um, so yeah, I, 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 and there's a fuck ton of ta taxis always in that fucker road, bro. And they must just drive the other the fuck hate, they want. And that fuck, yeah. oh, it, mm. just thinking of my fucking bo blood's boiling. Now there's this garage, man. It used to be a Caltex garage, but it's now something, I think they call it Motor City now. Mm. Now you come down there and these taxis always, like they slip into the garage because it's a one entrance and then the other side is the entrance. So they go, they like skip oh, maybe four cars. Oh, the four yeah. cars that they fucking go by. Oh. And I'm driving rustig, bro. Uh, luckily, I've got like a dash camera that time. Fucking thing broke now, but anyway. And uh, I was just thinking of getting one now. Yeah, bro, you must. I actually got it after another accident, which oh I'll think about gosh. another. And I didn't have a fucking thing, and this oh woman lied. Gosh. Um, anyway, so I'm driving, like, uh, and I'm driving past this, this taxi. It was like a car or two in front of me, I think. Or no, behind me. Behind me. And I saw him in my review mirrors because I was always checking my review mirrors for these fuckers because they always just jump in. And he takes that exit, uh, entrance to the garage, and he comes around. And I'm driving through. It's not, I don't have to stop. There's no traffic. No traffic, but I mean, it's free-flowing sort of. Yes, he doesn't even stop. Fuck all, bro. He doesn't give a fuck about nothing yeah. as the, most of them fucking do. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I'm here he's like yeah bro my car's here and he's here coming out and he just i don't know what the fuck he thinks where i need to go because there's a second lane with cars in it as well there's traffic i can't go anywhere and the, he doesn't stop he just doesn't give a fuck about nothing bro and he hits me on my on the back of my car my, my whole fucking car swings around like this Shit. he just he goes bro he's just pushing me whoa yo bro my no the he man's a boss bottom now. Yeah. And I fucking get out of this car and I'm I'm going to this guy and I'm cucking this guy out. Um anyway, he he but I see him fucking fiddling here in his door, bro. Anyway, I know Clark is gonna I'm like, fuck this. Yes, it's now we need to call the cops or something. Um and I'm walking back to the car and my mother's sitting in the back of my car and she sees this fucking guy coming at me and she's like He's got a knife, he's got a knife. He had a screwdriver in his fucking hand. And I turn around and I check this guy. I'm like, yo, looks him. Now all I'm doing is I'm just trying to grab this fucking hand of his so he can't fucking stab him. Yeah, hand control. And uh, luckily I grab his hand, but, but, hand, but he's, he's already stabbing my hand here. There's like fucking marks here. Holy shit, he, he got, why wow, he actually followed through with it? Why yeah. did he want to stab you? Like, like it was your fault. It, exactly. That makes no sense. Nah, but you must know these fucking taxi drivers. They think the road's almost theirs. I should have most now gone. Uh, somehow fucking just disappeared. This makes no sense. And uh, yeah, so I grabbed the guy's 
and luckily I grabbed it. But as I'm grabbing it, he's stabbing my fucking fingers. I was all bloody. Sure. And uh, I grabbed this hand and I fucking grabbed his other hand as well. So I got moved me and the two of us, we I fucking run with this guy. This was, there's a, I don't know, there's a lot of trailers standing there by that, that garage. Shit. They hire our trailers, but there's a ton of them. And I fucking run with this guy into this fucking trailer. Quite the altercation. Moves the thing, bro. And I run with him into this fucking trailer. I moor him into these trailers. But I'm just holding him his yeah. hand. Because I just, you know, if he's get his hand loose, he's going to fucking stay. He exactly. stays with my fucking lung, then I'm Eeyore. fucking done. And uh, this guy fucking... Is now we're standing what? Now we're just standing there. Because I've got both his hands. Yeah. Now I'm like... Fuck, I can't move him because, I mean, I've, I've, I've got both hands to make sure he's not going to move me. Knees, David, knees. Knees. Bro, you don't think about these things in you that do. situation. You do. You got weapons, David. <laughs> and uh, no, but my friends also know you're moving with the elbow. The elbow. <laughs> but, I'm like, but what? how are you going to move the elbow? I don't if know. You're holding? No, it's knees, and, um, legs. This guy, and he fucking headbutts me. Well, tries to, but luckily I see it coming. Oh, fucking, he misses. Yeah. The spider sense was tingling. And, uh, <laughs> and I think to myself, yo, blocks him. I don't need but but that day I scream, fuck you, bro. I'm gonna moor you with my head. <laughs> yes, I'm fucking eating. <laughs> Is it? I black him out and eventually these fucking other people come and they fucking grab this guy and well grab the two of us, pull us out of each other. Yo, know, I had these fucking knop off my cop, bro. Like the next day <laughs> I'm mooring this guy. Um, and then on my dash cam, yeah. it picks up this whole fight in front of, because it happened right in front of my car. Look where he brought out the knife. He, he, you know, on the dash cam, you just see me running with this guy into the fucking trailers. Oh, sure. I come past it, and then the fight happens in front of the, in front of the, the car. I still have the video. And uh, now the fight's finished. Everyone's like grabbed each other. And uh, he comes, he's standing right in front of my car where it's recording. And one of his buddies, or I don't know who it is, comes and he takes the screwdriver from him. There's no screwdriver anymore. They fucking oh, went to go hide it or whatever. But I've got it on video, bro. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of people, kind of tow trucks coming, ambulances coming, and uh, this one guy stops there, he calls his uncle, who's a policeman, and fuck, eventually the police come there. And uh, now I tell the police, yes, it's bro, this guy's, look at my hands, it's fucking full of blood, this guy's been stabbed me, whatever, on a press charges, fuck this guy. Yeah. He's like, nah, but uh, remember, no, no problem, we can trebate charges, but uh, if this guy also says that he wants to press charges, then both of you are going to jail. I tell this guy, but I've got a video camera yes. in my car that's recorded yeah. the whole fucking thing. Look at the thing. Yeah. Here you can see I did four call. Yeah. No, but it's not for me to investigate. Our detectives will need to investigate. You still have to go and sleep in, in wow. jail tonight. Now I'm like, this is our fucking that country, bro. Is this is crap. our SAPS. Wow. So they are basically threatening me so I don't fucking do anything. Because now, no. then I tell the guy, okay, well, in that case, I'm not going to press charges because I don't want to now press charges. And this guy decides, oh, no, because he's, he's pressing charges. I'm going to press, yeah. Just, I mean, I fucked up. He said, look that, at my fucking evidence, bro. So investigate. What are you up. there for? Are you not there to investigate? Wow, so what, what if you what if you got like proper stab like and exactly you and you die now I must then, fucking go to jail and, still because and, he's and gonna you, say no I yeah, started the fight exactly that's um, so fucked up like didn't know the law is so it's fucked up fuck bro I mean I have wow. evidence video footage that I can play the guy there but yeah our police is my sigma about it this Yo. so I didn't press any charges um, took photos of the ice <sighs> taxi and the numbers and the number plate whatever. Went to the police station and got Very my reports in my yeah. insurance. Obviously, they're not going to pay they my excess. I had to pay my excess. The insurance is now taking them to court. But this is now a year later. I know it's, nothing's going to come of exactly. it. Um, I've uh, written that money off. Um, but yeah, it was a fucking thing, bro. And I mean, yeah, my mother, yeah, she fucking, now they've already grabbed us out of like yeah. a pot. She grabs the guy with a fucking collar. <laughs> Holy she was a Muda guy, as well. I'm like, yes, bro, relax, wow. there's no baby. And she just, she just wants to fight there. I, I'm telling her, like, afterwards, I'm like, Lord, is he for commands? I mean, yes, I'm busy fighting here, you can't want to come fight as yeah, well now. Nah, fuck, I can't be there and here, now they want to move you, and oh, I can only fight one guy at a time, exactly. and shit like it. Um, yeah, but that was a fuck up, and, and you know, man, it's... That's fucked it just up. Re I just realized, it's like, we yeah. have no rights fuck as oh. as... Normal people in this country, the, the taxis can do what the fuck they want. Anyone can do what the fuck they want to you. And I'm, sure the police, know, and I'm sure they know that. They do. Uh, the, the police, they just there to fucking show themselves. They don't, but that's particular focus. And it's just like, 
Ah, but you had many of these road rages the other time also. Remember that? Um, yeah. That 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 stop street incident. Yes. That's fucked up. You, I don't know. That you, was you, also. You would track this shit. They were like, I shouldn't hang no, out. But, no, <laughs> but I haven't had it in the years, bro. Because I. But look, when I was in my twenties, mm. that's when the other thing that you know happened, and that I was there. But fuck, oh, I had Musa road rage and shit. But this thing, I mean, I did fuck all. Yeah, that, that but I mean, if you hit me like that and you're pushing me and yeah. shit. Uh, but oh, the reason I got the, the dash cam, uh, uh, firstly, is I just got in my car, man. And I went to go drop a friend of mine off at work because he was like, we were in a uh, lift club type thing. Mm. So it was my week to drive or something. I can't remember. But now I was actually sick at home or was on leave, but now I still had to go drop him off. So I come back and by my road, there's like a four-way stop street. Mm. And there's a crash here and there's a crash there. Anyway. Now I'm stopping, I come to the stop seat, I stop. Right, this woman comes driving, she's driving still. I say, okay, well, stop, she's gonna stop. Now I fucking turn, bro. Now I must turn into <clears throat> the road that goes to my house. And she just carries over the stop seat, doesn't stop, nothing. She hits my car like, Holy yeah, shit. like that, on the side. Um, now there's a guy at the, at the crash here, he just dropped his kid off and he saw, obviously, what happened. And now both of us, we pull in there to the crash, um, take her details, take pictures and whatever. She takes my details. We were the insur same insurance company. Holy shit. And uh, <clears throat> I make a report to the insurance company. Yeah, what happened? Oh, well, first go to the police station, obviously. Um, then to the insurance company. Now they want to tell, they, uh, um, now they're telling me that she says I drove into her. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? At the, when we were standing there at the crash, she's Why like, so, so she's so apologetic and <clears throat> whatever, so sorry. She was on a fucking phone, man. And uh, I'm yeah. like, okay, that's fine. And I wasn't being aggressive. I was just, fuck, I'm just pissed because my fucking, it's a new you car just I just bought. To... So anyway, insurance. <clears throat> now I expect, obviously, you look, you're going to have to pay my excess or whatever. It's my cocky. We're the same exactly. insurance company. They're going to have to get it from you. And the other insurance calls me and says, no, but um, I'm going to have to put in a claim because, uh, look, they'll, they said they'll waive my excess, but it's still going to have to be a claim against my name because um, it's a he says, she says situation. She says, I drove into her. I say, she drove into me. Uh, I've got a witness yeah. that the insurance actually spoke to. Um, firstly, they told me that they can't get a hold of this, this witness of mine. I'm like, how do you, can't you get a hold of him? Fuck, bro, he, he works. He used to work at the, the sirloin that I changed there in, in Cape Cape. Oh, yeah. And, I, uh, I know that sirloin. Yeah, the other, it's not changed. It's now a different place now. Yes. Um, anyway, I tell the like, corner uh, something. Corner deck, yeah. Yes, they opened up now yesterday. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm, I'm like, telling him, the guy works there. He gave me his address, his telephone number, everything. He's like a manager there. Um, no, they can't get over. He's not answering his phone. Bro, I call this guy. He answers quick. I say, look, man, insurance says they're calling you, they can't get a hold of you. He says he's got no fucking missed calls anymore. I hate when they fucking lie. They fucking lie. They're lazy, man. And then I'm like, okay, bro, I'm going to come to you. And then we're going to call the insurance yes. or I'm going to tell them to call me or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But I'm going to stand there by. He mm. says, no, come around, bro. He still offers me coffee and stuff. Nice. I was like, no, fucking, I don't want coffee, bro. It's all right. Like, well, cook, it's all. Anyway, he gives his statement to them. No. <laughs> he, he gives his statement and everything. Mm. They call or I call. I can't remember how it worked. Um, but he gives a statement. No, the, the, the assessors came back, said, uh, or the investigator, whatever it is. No, it's he says, she says. I'm like, what? I don't understand either. What, what does he doesn't? How is it he says, she says? It's actually he, he says, and she says. Exactly. So I've got a witness, she doesn't. Yeah. So she lied. So anyway, they still paid to fix my car and everything, but and uh, but it went against, a uh, claim it came against my account, but I didn't pay the excess. They they waived the excess, they said. Um, and I got everything fixed. And that day, I decided, fuck this, I'm getting a dash cam because these bitches are lying. The and you know what? I had this woman's number on my phone then still, and um, the biggest Christian you have ever heard of. Uh, the WhatsApp status is, oh, oh, oh Lord, this, my oh, Lord, that. God, that's the worst. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, worst. bro, this shit is that's just getting better and better. That's the worst. It, it's the worst, bro. And I, yeah, anyway, then I got my dash cam, 
and it picked up that other accident and uh, yeah. Fuck. But, uh, you need to get yourself a dash cam. <laughs> where, where did you get yours? I actually got it at game. No. Um, I've had a fight with them as well because they advertise it for like... Uh, you just love fighting, bro. Yeah, I fight with everyone, bro. <laughs> and they advertise it for like 350 Oh, yeah. <clears throat> on special on their website. Then I go into them or something. Yeah, I wanted to go buy it. No, it's not 350 It's like 700 and no, something. No, 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 no. I tell him, yeah, hey, this don't... thing says 350 I, I wanted the 350 I took a screenshot of the thing, everything. Yes. No, but that's only for online orders. I say it doesn't no, say online. It doesn't. Because there's certain specials that it'll say. There's a banner that says online yeah. only. This thing said nothing. Mm. It was the whole thing I had to send in a complaint with the screenshots and alas, bro. And eventually I got it for the 350 yeah. Um But yeah, game. But it was a cheap one. It was about these volcano, oh, volcano yeah. ones. Oh, so yes. it wasn't great. This oh. thing this thing still said, it says seven, uh, 720p. Oh, yeah, that's so it's HD yeah. or whatever. Not the fuck HD, but uh, the recording I, I played on my TV. Because my TV shows me what uh, quality it is. Okay. It's like fucking three something. 300 oh, and three, so. Probably 360. Yeah. Like, God, fuck, people lie. Hey, it, you know what I do now? Like, what I love, right, is the reviews. And Take A Lot always has, like, on the products, has like, reviews. Yeah, that's before I knew about Take A Lot. I really buy it on Take yeah. A Lot. So I didn't. Now I'll, mm. I would have bought it on Because a lot of these places, they don't also test it for you. They, they won't show <clears> you, like, okay, this is the resolution. This is how it works exactly. and stuff. They just have it packaged. Okay, and the package lies. Always. It just says 720p. And yeah. I had it on his Max. User experience is always the best indication. It is, man. Uh, on Take A Lot, there's well, a lot of things that I buy there. I check the reviews. And man. the cool thing about Take A Lot, though, you can send it back if you don't like it. You just send it back. Yes, that's a lack of thing. It's, and they it's, come collected. And it's no, um, uh, 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 no hassle, really. No hassle. It's just you, they, they you come send it on house. your app. Nah, I don't want this shit. Yeah. Because the other day, actually, um, nah, a couple of months back, I, I ordered myself, um, I can't remember what you call it, man, but it's for your brake calipers. Uh, I want to do my brakes on my brake calibers as it, it needs a key, man, to turn oh. it in. It's not one of those ones that you just push in. Yes. You actually have to turn it in, but you need a little two-prong thing. So I ordered this thing from them, and but I, I actually collected it at their depot there in Brackenfell. Okay. Um, and so I drive there this Saturday. I can pick this thing up and uh, take this box. I get to my car, open this thing up. I'm like, fuck, this is slippers, bro. But like proper slippers, nice slippers, like uh, like wool slippers. How do they give you slippers? I'm like, what the fuck is happening here? I go back to the depot. I'm like, okay, I ordered this. This is this. The guy tells me, no, sorry, they can't do anything. I must now log a return on the on the app and they'll come fetch it. So anyway, I did it. Okay. Then they sent me this fucking key for my car's break. It, it's too big. Oh, yeah, this is bro. But luckily, it's, uh, to give it back was easy. Yeah. And they credited my account very yeah. quickly as well and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, uh, but no, look, I love Take A Lot. I, I buy a lot I, of shit on I there. I send that shit back, yeah. I I've never back. sent anything back until then. Twice yeah. in a row because first they sent me slippers instead yeah. of a, the thing and then I, the second I was the... I put my washing key. machine on Take A Lot also. Like, oh, is it? I check reviews, they have specials and then they... Because one piece of mine is like, if I'm not happy with this thing, I can send it back. Yeah. If I go to game and cut, they're going to... They're going to say, nope, <clears throat> you bought it and you must fucking use it. And exactly. And not only that, now with game, you have to actually go there and, and take yes, it to them. I must put it Where to take like, they, they come fetch it. Almost like hire a trailer for something. Exactly, or, yes. Yeah, they just li li literally come to you. Like I bought a washing machine first. Let me see, you got time. Yeah, bought the washing machine first. This is a piece of cuck, really. Like, huh? I don't know what I was doing. I, <laughs> I The reviews were so great with this washing machine. Hmm? I was, like, what, what was it? It was a fucking high sense. Yeah, I had a I had a great Hisense TV. Mm. Like it was my first TV that I bought. Yes, like, yes. Maybe even ten years ago. It gave mm. me ten years of service. <clears throat> it was fine. Yeah. Uh, I was like, okay, fine. They must be legit. Then, you know, <laughs> mistake. Never <clears throat> fucking ever buy anything else. If it's Hisense, just fucking stick to TV. Is it? Like, don't fucking buy the washing machine. Is, oh my god. How is it's it? So what, what do you mean? How, what's so, David? Like, uh, what's so? Uh, technical about a washing machine it just spins and dry, whatever david this thing was almost stop and say like let's say it's spinning for drying mm -hmm. and it was almost say it's like stop and if you get the error code then it would be like um you need to align the clothes so that the ah clothes are, fuck it it's not not uh, yeah e uh, it, uh, it's all and, balance in, and i had a samsung before and i was like i never this was samsung and then and then you know that like, 
you must fucking make it like you know yeah it's a little level bubble it, thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's like it's 2023 20, like who the fuck still needs a level for a washing machine i was like this is retarded man <laughs> this is crazy and then one day huh? it just fucking broke oh one day it just, while it was going it just fucking broke why it's all new this is less than a month of use. Yeah. I was like, nope. I packed that shit up, David, to the best of my ability. Because nah. what I do is, now, whenever I buy something, no matter what it is, I keep the box. Yes, yes, I yes. I want to yes. test it out first. So, and I always make a mental note or I take a photo. This is how it was packed. Yeah. In case I need to repack it again. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I, cause I l- 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 kept it because I was like, I'm, I actually wanted to throw the boxes away. Yes. And I was like, nope. <clears throat> I'm not 30 days yet. <laughs> keep, keep that bitch. Keep that bitch. <laughs> I was like, they, I, I packed that shit up so quickly, David. <laughs> Block that return, come fetch. Oh, I, I first said, like, no, because there's options of the reasons for it. Yes. Uh, you know, and then the one, one of them was like a defective or something. Yeah. And they said, uh, invalid, um, contact the manufacturer of this. Oh, I was like, the, wait, I bought it from you. What happened to 30 days? Exactly. So I changed my reason. I'm not happy with this product anymore. Oh, really? I came to fetch it. <laughs> Is it? You just changed the reason. I just said I'm not happy with this thing anymore. Yes. Yeah, but uh, uh, then I bought a Samsung. Yeah. Uh, oh no, but look, best, Samsung, bro. Best decision of my life. TVs, washing machines, yeah. features. When the anything ice, when Samsung. Ice since TV was here and that broke, I bought a Samsung. Yeah. That washing machine broke, a Samsung. The TV yeah. inside of it. Look, Samsung is you pay more for it, but it's quality. It's quality. Bro. Um, I've now also LG to me is also like I used to be a Samsung only. Yeah, I used to be a Samsung guy only, bro. Everything just yeah. TVs, Alice, Even um, my washing machines, also. everything. And then uh, I bought my TV years back, like in 2015. And I was checking these Samsung TVs and I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, bro. For the price, I could only get like a 44-inch TV, man. And I wanted oh, a big one. You wanted a massive. So I went to LG and I got myself oh, no. a 55-inch. Oh, no, David. And no, bro, this uh, fucking thing's worked. Really? It's, well. You're happy with it? The, or was it a smart TV? Yeah, smart okay, TV. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's been, mm. the, it was a 3D TV. Well, still is a 3D TV. The only thing that I have now um, experience is like with YouTube, man. Um, well, I actually had a problem. It started where my apps didn't want to work at all. But somehow I fixed it. I don't know how. Now YouTube works, but sometimes, because I've got YouTube Premium, mm. but sometimes it'll just show me like a couple of videos or a video will play and then I cancel the video, go to another video, but the previous video will start playing again. Oh. Um, I don't know what the fuck it is. But anyway, I now play my YouTube and stuff through other things. Um, yeah. But that, I mean, weird. it's lasted for long now. Yeah. Really. So I don't really have an issue and uh, my washing machine is also LG and that thing's fucking perfect. Mm. So I must say, look, I was only Samsung, but now LG is also not the cut. I, I, <clears throat> I, I don't know, like nowadays, like when I think of, like I got, I, I don't even know this thing, a fire stick. I've know, heard like, about the fire yeah, stick. Yeah, yeah. That, like, like you plug it in the back of the device, TV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's I, like a media I'll, player type thing. Yeah, yeah, it basically turns your TV to a smart TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a bit more. Mm. So I could install like apps. Yes. Like, which was on my phone. Uh, uh, uh. That like next to your Wi Fi, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And it, and I, when I bought this, because I always like people thought, oh, you should get this, you should get this, you should get this. I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Then I was like, the World Cup was starting that day, the mm. world, opening world of the World Cup, well, the, you know, the day before the World Cup. I was yeah. like, okay, fine, let me get this fire stick. David, like, it's so awesome, like, this thing, right? It, yeah. it, it like, unlocks another level to oh, the TV. It? Now, now I'm thinking, like, if this TV shall perish, huh? or if I want to upgrade, yeah. I'm going to get... Just a, a normal TV. A massive fucking TV, like, the biggest screen that... Doesn't have to be smart, I, just a normal one. whole fucking wall, <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then like I'm, a 107 <laughs> inch TV. You know, like, but like a, a dumb TV. <laughs> <laughs> and just plug this fucking thing in, no? and it's going to super... It's gonna Perfect. Su- supercharge my TV too. Because, like... It's I amazing. Must, I must actually look at one, one of those things because my my old Samsung TV, which wasn't a smart TV, yeah. is actually my daughter's room now. But I've got a places in three that I've now she's using to watch YouTube and Netflix and so on. Because I bought an Xbox now. Which, that's where I now watch oh, nice. my YouTube and my everything from. Yeah. Um, so maybe I must just get one of those fire sticks and plug it into just the back plug and it in, bro. Like, it's create a smart TV. Change your life, bro. Because like, yeah. now, because I'm thinking, like, I don't need a smart TV. That that just made me think, like, mm. I could save, like, like what, 3,000 Rand? Yeah. And then just get, like, a bigger TV. But how much, how much is that, uh, that, that fire stick thing? It was 1,000 Rand. 
That's not bad. I mean, yeah. if you buy it, I mean, if it's not a smart TV, look, you'll save much more than three grand. Exactly. Because that, that whole computer thing, in it, that's what makes it expensive. Yes, you yes. can probably pay like five grand and get yourself a Samsung Moose. Um, but do they still make non-smart TVs like in Samsung do. brands and stuff? I've, I've checked. Like, I've checked. Like just randomly, I'll go on mm. to see like, oh, mm -hmm. like, they do. Like, yeah. and, like 4K, like good quality ones, but just not... A smart TV. Because oh. I think they also know people is aware of this fire stick thing now. Mm. So it's like yeah, media boxes and, and yes, stuff like that. Yes, I, I actually, it's a small thing. You just plug into your TV, yeah. like into the USB thing, done. There's I, no other wires and yes, yes. That's I, did you plug it in? But that's actually like because I bought my father a uh, media player. Um, but it's this, they f sell it on like Facebook Marketplace, even yeah. on, on, on Take a Lot and so on, but it's in. MX something, 69 oh, or something I've like that. Oh, I've seen that, yes. But this is kind of because, uh, as you said, you still have a plug that goes into the fucking wall. Oh, no. Nah, and then uh, your HD cable that yeah. goes into the TV and kind of like that. I, I specifically wanted one that could no other wires. Exactly. Did you so, see my setup? Like, yeah. You don't see any wires. In exactly. Cut. You just plug this thing because in that's the TV. Look, it's lacquer because this thing has got fucking channels for days on a broom. For days. I mean, it's got Netflix and whatever. And then he's still got TV, like proper, like, proper TV, like TV. overseas TVs yeah, and shit. Yeah. He can watch sport for free and shit. Exactly. It's like that IPTV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, he doesn't what pay you, for it. What, what she do is, like, there's a lot, there's a lot of caca out there, like, but get, like, one that supports with Google. Yeah. So that, you know, all the apps are going to work. So you can get work, apps, yeah, supported, yeah, yeah. Supported, yeah. Yeah, but, and I was like him, uh, that Fire Stick would actually work work better because then you don't have to have this plug still going oh. everywhere and shit like that because uh, cause i'm thinking imagine me fucking getting a plug from there to there and it's gonna be yeah, all in my way all these wires bro. i was like no and then the fireplace there is gonna catch a light for something because of the cable no? and cack. exactly i was like no, no that's like, something like, i was like, looking like, at you just pay a bit extra because mm. the one with the cable that you had to put the external yes. power supply it's obviously cheaper yes but yes pay yes. a bit extra for that 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 mm. that that Lack of all the the, like the less maintenance yeah. factor. But I could actually, I should actually just get that for my TV as well. Because, um, like I said, my YouTube is packing up a bit. And it doesn't have all the apps. Because it's so old, man. The, oh. the TV software doesn't update anymore. The actual software. Oh. Look, the, the, the software for like so YouTube and Netflix does. Anymore. But the actual firmware. Yes. Uh, because it's so old. So it's not uh, I bought it in like 2015. Yes. So, maybe I should just get that Fire Stick thing. You okay, plug cool. it in there. It's going to upgrade your I mean. TV. It's going to upgrade your TV. Then, because I don't have... Like a lot of apps, like Disney Plus isn't on there. Oh, um, isn't. And you can't install Obviously, app. Apple TV isn't on there. No, it, it's not on the app, oh, wow. uh, app yeah. world or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of things that's not on there. Mm. Um, it's just like the old school stuff, like yes. Netflix, uh, mm. YouTube. And then there's like it's Al Jazeera funny. is on there. And like it's other... Like Al Jazeera. The news channel, like CNN. Oh, but wow. like news. Yeah. That's free though. But I mean, I, who the fuck watches Ew. that? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but there's like yeah so, but the like the newer apps newer things uh it's not on there where you would get it like mm. on the like, that fire stick yeah now the fi fire stick is awesome like this is okay i don't want to i'll tell you I'll tell even you off, dstv I, the dstv app isn't on my tv no. i i the D, i use the dstv app on my xbox to yeah. watch dstv yeah oh dude like you can install other apps like there's apps that come by default on the yeah, fire yeah, stick yeah. but you can install more apps from google as yes. well you can just select yeah, like, and it's part of the play store so i mean yeah everything anything is, there. is available yeah. Yeah. you just install like what i did was i got like because i also plug i got like a small portable hard drive mm -hmm. that I also plug into the tv so i got like this um this multi so it's like extra storage yeah, what? yeah. So okay. I've got like, a, no, no, but, but that's like for if I copy movie. Oh, okay, that is the, okay. That I isn't you. on Netflix yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. And I'll put it on there. Like, so what I'll do is like, I, I got like a, a multi port. What, you, you're pirating use... movies, man? No, like, no, <laughs> I, I, I make movies, you know. Oh, okay, and okay. And do a screen test. Oh, oh you know? okay, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. And then I put it on, you know. I mean, my movies are than Netflix, David. Okay, no, I'm know? just checking if you legit. I'm practicing. <laughs> practicing for the streets you know before i put it out there and, and we ask netflix to put it on i watch it on my tv you okay know. just checking just you checking know. um yeah but <laughs> but, but uh, i got like a multi-usb uh, uh, uh fuck maybe i lost the thing <laughs> uh, usb hub oh yes yes so yes I plug it in. like the fire stick uses a one port and then i plug this where does it? I think no. Fire stick is the HDMI. Sorry. Oh, does it go Fire to the stick, HDMI? I, I think not the USB. No, I lie. It's USB. Yeah. Why am I thinking HDMI? Okay, so I plug it in. It's got the multi US multi uh, USB hub. Mm -hmm. So I plug mm -hmm. the hard drive and the Fire stick in there. Mm. So yes, yeah, so and I can. Yeah, okay. Both, both options. Yeah. 
Yeah, look, luckily my TV, I've got three USB ports. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah. And it's not so old. Then, <clears throat> mine only came with two, and I bought mine in 20, 2021 or something. Is it? Yeah, mine's 2015, but it had, it's got three USB ports, and it's got it's got like two or three fucking HDMI ports as well. I'm like, you know, for what? Sure. What I just Sheesh. what am I gonna uh, who wow. needs so many ports? Sure. But I mean it's there. That's loaded. Uh, exactly. Um yeah, I don't know. But like look, I'm happy with the TV, it's nice and big, the color and stuff is lacquer on it. Mm. And especially now that I'm watching the stuff through the Xbox, so I don't oh, wow. worry about it the apps that's on the TV yeah. itself. Um so Xbox is big, like a computer. It is. Yeah. Look, Microsoft makes it. It's exactly. a fucking computer, a gaming system. But it's options. a computer, it's got everything on there. It's yeah. got a web browser on there, it's yeah. got you know, whatever you want, and it's got an app store, so yeah. uh, you fucking download whatever apps exactly. you want, really. <clears throat> and like the cool thing the device is got on the remote, so, oh. I, can, so I, I can just speak into the remote, like, like open this app. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it's a yeah. voice control as well. Like, I like speaking to shit, though. Like, my phone, like, I just say hi, big speed, like, <laughs> search this and this and this for me. No. Okay, okay, probably heard yeah, me <laughs> like, like that. But, so I, I love that feature. Uh, I speak to my devices like I've never really done that. I, it's I, just to me it's with the, even even like WhatsApp messages, like I'll speak uh, WhatsApp. Oh like, yes. Like uh, what time are you coming? Full stop. This oh, really? is full stop. Yeah, no, I send voice notes. And then it types it out. No, no, but so, sometimes I want receipts. Oh. <laughs> so I want I want like Proof that this and this was said and this and this. I, That's I, why you have a voice note. You can listen to it. I don't want to go through <laughs> thousands of voice listen notes. Listen to it. I just to read what, what I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what I do is I go to search. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go to search. Okay. I screenshot. Bitch, this is what I say. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, yeah. look. No, I'm voice notes. But look, what I've noticed is, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just talk cuck. I don't know. But these things, when I, the, 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 the voice to... What's your text? Text yeah. thing doesn't always work for me, man. I'll be Is talking it? and then I <laughs> It's like, what the fuck, man? Just listen. Listen yeah, properly. Listen, <laughs> listen properly. <laughs> Bitch, I said. I said. <laughs> then I start arguing with my fucking phone here. <laughs> so, also, yeah. I'm going to take the, the acoustics of the phone also. The acoustics of the room. So it was like too echoey. Then I got yeah. all this noise <clears> in the background. Like sometimes, like also if I take like a, like let's say me and you stand and you want to take a selfie mm. and I'll say, shoot. Because mm. like my fucking thumb, I can't always get oh, to it properly. Yes. And Same, like, yeah. Selfies, I struggle yeah. with and that shit, like, bro. shoot. And I'll speak to the and phone. My, and my hands are fucking cramping. I hold the thing like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, what's wrong with my hand? <laughs> it's like, I'll, I prefer taking a picture like this. No. Nah. Don't fucking come with this cut. Like, exactly. And I was like, oh, wait, okay, wait, hold on. Because I'm scared of my phone's going to fall also. Then but exactly. Like, yeah. um, but I don't know with this phone, but the other phone I had, the uh, Samsung, it was also, you'd say like smile or whatever. Oh, yeah. Like a command, and then yeah, it would like take the on, picture. Yeah. So that was good. Yeah. You don't have to there's, actually press the there's button. There's shoot, there's smile, and something like that. Yeah, there's like key words yeah. that, you can, yeah. that you can use, yeah. So I used to just smile, and then yeah. it takes or, a picture. Well, like, like with this phone, like if you, like let's say you go to video mode, mm -hmm. and let's say you speak into it or something, mm -hmm. like it detects movement, it will auto record. Oh. So, without me pressing record. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Fancy for so, no, but I'm sure like a lot of phones got that. No, I've got a sure. cuck phone. I've got a Huawei cuck phone oh. thing. No, my other phone packed up, bro. Um, now, yeah, you had a Samsung. Yes, there, but yeah. I had it for years. It was an S7, an old one. But I had oh, that wow. thing for probably like 10 years. Look, I'm sure. not a guy for contacts and fancy yeah, things, I mean, man. I just want a... Exactly. I just yeah, want a phone that's going to work. Yes. WhatsApp must work. My yeah. apps, whatever. Banking. And that thing I had for years, but it was getting slow. Very mm. slow. And then... Like three months ago, I think I've got like maybe three, four months, um, this thing just started crashing. I've charged it the night and then it would, what would it, it would, uh, what would like restart or something? No, 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 it wouldn't restart. It wouldn't just uh, connect. Every, I kept getting an error message. So I can't do anything, go into any apps, sure, do anything. And now the cuck is, all oh, my shit is on there, bro. Oh, so you can't even access So I got now. this phone actually for free by my, my wife's boss. Oh, nice. Um, lots of memory because that one only had like a 32 gig memory, oh, wow. which is That's nothing. I mean, one app is for videos. Yeah, and, it's crap. Yeah. I used add to delete WhatsApp messages all the fucking time. Wow. Even and this WhatsApp thing, messages, yeah. yeah, this thing's now I think 128 oh, or 200 nice. or something. That's but nice. I mean, it's big enough. Yeah. Um, Only problem I have with this phone is like the the, the Play Store. You can't go to Google Play with this phone, right? No, it, it jippos it a bit. So it, Got it, your own Play Store. it actually picks up my phone as a Samsung S9. How? It's got its own Play Store. 
I don't know. It's his Chinese blue. They do this shit. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's got that's his phenomenal. It's got his own Play Store thing, yeah. Huawei App Store, yes, whatever. Yes. But it doesn't have a lot of apps, blue. So it, you would choose an app, um, but all the apps also don't work the same way it would work on a Samsung, say. Um, oh. Like the Google, um, like my Gmail account and YouTube even. Uh, it, you can download it, but it, like I said, it picks it up as an S9 and it downloads it from the website, not like an app store, like from the website. Oh, sure. It's a weird fucking thing. Yeah. And there's other apps as well, APK app, I think it is, that mm. you can also download it from. But now what I mean is, now like with YouTube, now I'm listening, uh, at, during the day when I'm working, I put the radio on Bluetooth to my mm. Bluetooth speaker and like I listen to the radio. But now I want to go to my WhatsApp, so I, uh, so I pause the, 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 the radio on YouTube, and then I go to WhatsApp, but when I come back, fuck it, WhatsApp, uh, YouTube's going to close down. Oh, shit. The same with, like, emails. If I open up my Gmail account, if you go out of it, if you, like, switch to another screen, mm -hmm. and you go back, then it's gone. It's a cuck like that. It's like, it doesn't work the same it did on my Samsung, where wow. you could actually just switch between the two. It won't close unless you actually close yeah. it. Um, and then like the Garmin app for the watch, oh, yeah. the How GP, does the map doesn't work on there. Whoa, like the, the, I have to actually go onto the Garmin's website to see oh, where I ran wow. and, and so on. It'll so, give you your stats still so how far Garmin you ran, but the actual like map. Google, that's why. Yeah, so uh, it'll, it'll work, everything works except for the map itself, mm. won't. Um, and st maybe she needs to Strava. I don't know if Strava works on that phone. What's that? It's like a, it's like a, basically it's like, it's a, social media app for fitness basically yeah so like you can add other people you can follow other runners like let's say i want to mm -hmm. follow david i can see what david uh. did today and stuff yeah but it's going to be able to connect to my watch so that's the problem it does to a garmin watch yeah yeah you, you connect your oh watch. i thought you connect had to use watch. the garmin app no 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 no. you can use both uh. i use both oh but like i never wanted to use travel because it's like a social media app yeah 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 give you kudos or likes uh, and stuff. Uh, well done. So indeed, yeah. Okay. I was like, I don't give a fuck if people see my <laughs> runs. Like, this is private. I'm not doing this no? for, to put yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I want to get likes for my run and yeah. cuck. And what if I ran cuck or so? And <laughs> so, now, so now somebody convinced me to um, to get the app because it's good to see um, other routes and um, mm -hmm. you can get like tips from other runners and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But now my account is like private and I only add people I know. Yes, so yes, yes. So it's only like the small group like, I think I've got five people yes. that I follow and stuff, yeah. and we all know each other. Yeah, the other. people that you run with or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and now I can see, okay, fine. Oh, that gave me that tip. Oh, okay. You but on there, you can actually thing. see the map. You can see your map, yes. You can see. Yeah, because that's what I like, man. I like yeah. seeing where I ran, and it, yeah. like, shows you, look, here's red, there's blue, there's green. Yeah. Or, this is where you, you can, had, were fast, here's where yes. you were slow, and uh, you, altitude, you, and other You can actually record out. your run without using your watch. Even. There's a button that says, if you go to, let's say you want to start an activity, you go to like, run, let's say I want to do a run today, mm -hmm. then you click on record, mm -hmm. and it will record from your phone and not without using your watch. You don't even need your watch. Oh, is it? You just keep your phone with you and you run, and then it records your route and whatever. So it uses your, your the GPS. The phone's GPS. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite. Yeah. Now I must have a look at Strava. 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 Send me the link. Yeah, well, S-T-R-A-V-A. Yeah, because I, I actually use it a lot with the touch rugby. Look, I don't need the map on it because we're just running in a field. But I like watching it to see. Your case. How much case yeah, you, and, it, and it shows you, like I said, a, a red wave now, run fast and whatever. Yeah. So I, the whole field just looks like that the whole time. But uh, I mean, you can, it, yeah. I don't know. I just like looking at yeah. it. It doesn't it's, do it's, anything it's for cool me. but stats, it, yeah. yeah. So I it's check like, it out. It's, it's like the other day I checked. Like one cool thing is like you can check on your, like if you connect your Garmin app to mm -hmm. your watch. Uh, you can see like how much k's you ran yes like like the other day i was freaked out i saw like i ran like 640 k since uh, since august 15th yeah since like the, i was like wow, that's a lot i didn't bro. know how much like you could have gone you could have run to george you know like yeah you know <laughs> and, and even nice a little no. bit more because like, cause, like 640 since august 15th yes that is that's wow, crazy bro. Since August. Since August 15th yeah since, since the 15th of august of yeah because it's like 100 k's a month more more than 100 k's a month. Because one thing, one more thing you can do, you can add gear. So let's say I've got two pairs of shoes. Mm -hmm. um, you can say like, let's say, okay, I've got a pair of A6. Mm -hmm. Shout out to A6. 
Sponsor. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I need this. You know, let's say you got, let's say it's a different brand, let's say um, Nike. Mm -hmm. So you got two pairs and you can say. Oh, but I've seen that on the know. Garmin app as well. You can, and then it shows you how much, uh, when it's like in a um, run out or something, What uh, when you need to replace it, isn't it? No, no. It, it just tells you how many Ks you ran with the shoe. Oh, okay. You can say, okay, I'm using this shoe today, then it tracks how much case you ran on this. Okay. And then it'll, it'll tell you, like, how good the shoe was, how much miles it gave you and stuff. Yeah, so maybe when, when you start decide you need to tuck it away, you just yeah. say, that, okay, it's not done. Then it'll yeah. tell you, okay, you were able to run so yes. fast. And, and if you know next pair of shoes, you can compare. You can compare, yeah. That's cool. And you can see other people's tests also like that. They can see, okay, this, sh this shoe that they're wearing, maybe I want to buy that shoe. Yeah. And I see, okay, I'm going to keep that person. Like, okay, now it's a good shoe then. Yeah. Now maybe I must get that then. It's worth yeah. it for the price yeah, or something because yeah. you can get... To, yeah, where exactly. you have to buy two pairs of shoes a year, maybe not only one. Exactly. Like, what okay. I did with this shoe was, like, I went on YouTube and I saw, like, people who ran, like, let's say, a thousand kilometers with the shoe yeah. to see how it still looks and what, mm. like, you know, what support it still had. And, yeah, yeah. you know, that type of review. And not just people that walked for five kilometers, yes. and, you know. So, it's good, like, if you can, can compare different shoes and different mm, ways mm. and stuff. So, it's, it's like, like that. But what's your goal with this running? Have you got a certain goal? Do you want to go do the... Comrades, or, no or is it just there's running? There's no fucking goal, David. Like literally, I'm just having a good time, uh, and literally running. So you don't, like, you don't plan on doing like the like the comrades or something like that. Out of your fucking mind for what? No. Why the no. fuck are you running? Exactly it's, for it's what? It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Like That's it's like fun. It's like I don't like when I was going to the mountain. Like I still mm. do. I need a new trail running shoe because apparently my feet. Are getting bigger. Oh, is it? My feet are too small for me. And now that how? you've been running, now your feet are getting bigger. How is my feet getting bigger, David? Yes. My feet are shoe that I've been wearing huh? since 2021, huh? not 2020, is now too small for me. How weird is In that? In a few years. Maybe it's maybe it's because of you running. Maybe you've got more muscles now in the feet. No, but maybe it is. Maybe <laughs> the it's it's changed. Maybe the shape of your foot with the new shoes as well, probably because those shoes you probably didn't. Um, have them check your arches and like yeah, yeah. No, so this one is yeah. now actually developed for your foot exactly my proper, my proper yeah so maybe it's not like changing your foot slightly or like the muscles like you yeah. mentioned or something like that no it's, it doesn't put in the other shoes like, like if i put my foot in immediately like my foot like screams like <gasps> take uh, me out take me out like <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, you were fine it's too tight <laughs> yeah, exactly i was like what the fuck and i, and I tried maybe like a thinner sock huh? like barefoot yes, i was like what the that, fuck man. And it's like a squeeze, it's so uncomfortable, like it squeezes, like, and maybe I tried, maybe the lace, maybe yeah, I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> tight, like, nope, nope. No, it's done. It it's needs to go. I was like, fuck, now I was getting a new pair of trail running shoes. And this is expensive. Those of you have walked in uh, three days in the run. <laughs> <laughs> Compliment the fun. <laughs> Essex. <laughs> Essex. Right. Essex. So like, yo, know, like, what was speaking? Oh yeah, the shoes, yeah. Uh. So it's good to check out the reviews and stuff, mm. like what worked for people and stuff. And all the, you know, why am I running? Yeah, like when I was running on the mountain, like uh. I did those challenges. Mm. But if there's no challenges, I'm still going to the mountain kind of thing. Yeah. So if a race comes up and I see a race, okay, let me try that. Yeah. Maybe the race is a nice scenic race. I, but it's it's fun, David. I love running. Like. I feel the mountain one would be better. I would enjoy that more. Just because it's, I don't know, man, the road running, to me, it feels very boring. Really? It's just the road. No, I, I, uh, where I the, the, the trail running, way. it seems more exciting, I, man. There's they, like they, rocks to jump I, over, and there's this and that. Not David, just running. I felt the same way. There was this guy there, <clears throat> I, and I apologized to him. Mm, yeah. <laughs> he was a runner. What did you do? No, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like this. This guy's talk about uh? ego thing. Like it's like, I would I would go to the sauna at this. I, I, I'm not telling the location of the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it, basically by the. By the mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this particular gym has a, um, a sauna. Yeah. So after the mountain, my routine was it's mountain, beach, for that cold exposure, and then I'll go to the, the sauna. Yeah. I got, I'm in the sauna. Then I always used to see this guy. At the same time, we used to like, probably like, mm -hmm. telepathically meet there. After yeah. the gym session, we would come there. He's a runner. Yeah. He's a little bit older than me. Um, and we would always chat about what's better like you tell me yeah mountain and blah 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 and they talk to me about running and yes. i was like let me go back and forth and they're like come on running is so boring it's like how oh, can you say boring and like in the same year david like you're we we chatting and in the same year so it's probably back and forth with this mountain yeah. versus running and blah 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 and 
I have to make fun of him and blah. But that's blah. that's my view, man. <laughs> <laughs> he has to make fun. Exactly, make fun. He's like, yeah, he, it's so, so nice to run like twenty one k's from from like this to Hout Bay and yeah. stuff, and you get the bus back and stuff. And I was like, get the bus back. Why don't you just run? Why are you being a pussy and stuff? <laughs> and it's like, what do you mean twenty one k's? He's like, okay, don't be a pussy, man. Blah blah. And we talk about how boy running is. Eh? David, like, and then I and then and then almost stopped doing the mountain, and then I to focus on the running now. Yeah. I literally saw him about two weeks after doing Cape Town Marathon. Mm? Bumping team randomly because I went back to the mountain um, uh, after the marathon just to go yes, back yes. and check in because I still love mountain. Yeah. So I got him. I just got to the gym and he was just finished with his sauna session. Uh -huh. And he's like, yo, bro, where you been? And I was like, running. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wait, what? <laughs> so I had the whole discussion with his eyes. I was like, look, bro, I apologize for shitting <laughs> I was like, it's like, why is there someone running? I need somebody to marathon and blah, blah, blah. And Yo. It was like, why I need somebody to marathon and within that time? It was like, yeah, it's like, it's like, wow. Okay, gosh, so, so we comparing, you know, it's like, yeah, how does it make you feel when you're running? And like, yeah, you get into this, 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 uh, what do you call it? This zone. zone. Yeah, yeah, this, um, uh, what, what, what is the term? But you feel those runners high and stuff uh -huh. and it feels amazing. Because like, the mountain and the running is completely two different yes. disciplines and it makes you feel two different ways and it's both has its has its placement mm. but like i can't i can't shit on the running like i did before because like you can't shit on it if you haven't tried it man. and you've tried it i've tried it now and like i've, I've been bitten like no. i've been bitten hard but you know that uh, when i was doing the running like i was talking uh, to you earlier about the treadmill running used to be so cuck so was, some days I used to go to gym. Why did I go to the gym to do the treadmill? I can't remember. But anyway, <laughs> but I didn't. I think it was maybe when my calf was sore. Oh. So I ran the treadmill because on the on the road the, it's uneven surfaces. Oh, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. I think it was because of that. And then I'd run uh, on the treadmill for like ten minutes and then do the row. Uh, no, the bicycle and then the row. Mm. Um, and I. That the treadmill was so cock to me because it's just you're sitting in one spot. Oh, you're standing worst. in one spot. You it's don't see. Worst. You can't see the end. You can't. There and is that's no end. that's why. Look, I didn't enjoy running, but that was one thing I, I liked about it. You know, when you're close to the end. Oh yeah. So it's like, it's like the oh, I'm line. almost there. I'm almost yeah. there. Where the treadmill is, you can just see the time, and, and the time doesn't really say anything to me, man. It's easier when the road running also. Yeah, and the easier. treadmill, you just set the speed, and then you go where the road the, running is. And this thing now pulls you're slow, you. Now you slow, now you fast, now yeah. Yeah, this thing pulls you. You like, it, 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 yeah. There's no like self-propelling. Yes. You know, you have to. You, mm. you, this thing just makes you like in a fucking hamster wheel. It, kind of like, exactly. Yeah. Um, so there's no. Um, just veer stand yeah, 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 yeah. You just put your foot. You just look. Yeah. You get tired. You get fucked. But, but I, I, I think it is a bit easier. But it's also it's, it's just it's a bit monotonous, man. It's I, like just so monotonous. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm just going. I hate I'm it. just going. It's and that's why it's what I actually enjoyed more about the running, even though I didn't like the running. But I mean, you knew when you were done. Yeah, and you're outdoors, fresh air. You yes. get sunlight. It's amazing. Like I'm more outdoors also now. It's it's a, it's awesome. Like mm. like. It's, it's so like liberating knowing that you have options now. Like yes. you can either go to the gym, I can do weights, or I can go to the mountain. I was like, wow, I can do this. Or I can do running. Or I can do all three in one fucking day. Like, you know, I've got options If you really now. want to be fucked up, you let's know, do like, all of it. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm like, just being competent in more than one yeah. discipline mm. is fucking amazing. Like now I'll, I'll run a mountain and run. Like yeah. I'll, I'll warm up with that, with like, like a 5K run. Mm. Then I'll go up the mountain. Then I'll end up with a 10K run. Like all in one session, like what? Like it's amazing. It is like a, I look, man. I need to get back into the whole fitness thing again. I was thinking of going back to gym again as well, but making a comeback on all levels. Oh, bro. You should go back. I wanted to go back, oh, like a month or two ago already, and uh, I don't know, man. I just, you know what it is now. I think it is, um, and it's, it's just excuses anyway. But <laughs> I've had, I go. I go to bed so late at night, and I'm. Uh, you normally, used to go to bed earlier than me. I used to, bro. And now the what last. Happened? It's this fucking Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> the games got you. No, 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 uh, no. It's not actually that. It's I would actually stop gaming at like ten, and then ask him. Ah, but then. Mm. But it is actually Xbox because now my brain keeps running still. Uh, it's I, it's, it's not dopamine. switching off it's exactly. Dopamine, yes. And then. Eventually, I'm only like falling asleep at like one o'clock, oh, two o'clock in the morning. Down. Tomorrow morning, I'm waking up. Well, later in the morning, I'm waking up at five to go to work. Um, 
and then I get home. Now I'm so tired, I go to sleep. I go sleep mm. for like an hour or two at yeah. home. And then I get up, wake up, and then my daughter and my wife's there. Yeah. And the thing is, man, I get home so early. I have all the time in the world to go to gym. Mm. Because that's what I'm saying. It's all excuses. I can change. You can, yeah. um, because I get home at like three. Oh, wow. So my wife and daughter only get home at like half past five, maybe. Yeah, you got time. Baby. So, I mean, I could go to gym, come back. Easy. And then even maybe catch a nap still. Easy. Um, yeah, but it's difficult, bro. Nice. But, I, but I think that where it needs to start is I need to go to bed earlier. Yeah. That's a problem because now on, when was it? On Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday I went to bed literally at 2 o'clock. Oh, wow. And at 5 I woke up. Yo, the day when I got home, the afternoon, I was dead, dead, dead. Then I still, because I took the work, actually the car to work, so my, so my, my I had to still go fetch my, because uh, my, oh, I don't have two cars, okay. so. I still had to go fetch my wife after yeah, when I got home. In the visa bag so I go. couldn't. No, no, no. Okay. Because I had a thing on and I couldn't. Oh, okay. I had so you, to. You needed the car. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I couldn't. So I had to go fetch her. So I couldn't even sleep the afternoon. And at night, I didn't sleep. So you were stuck in. Um, I went to bed late again. Sure. And but then on f yes yesterday Friday yes I crashed mm -hmm. after I was done working got home. Dead. I just yeah. fell on the bed and I fucking slept. Sure. And then last night was a late night again. <laughs> I only went to bed a after three. Session. Yeah. No, a well, I, it was a chaos session and then I got home at like one and then I started gaming again. Yeah, damn. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> once you start gaming, it's like your time flies over. Yeah. We're looking at that bit now. But yeah. like for me, like, I'm so careful when I play games because I know how addictive I can be. You know? It I, is. I, I set like a limit. Like, I'm only going to play from this time till this time. And I'm disciplined. Like, with, mm. no matter if I finish the mission, I have to get up. I yes. have to be, I have to, like, I'll say, like, I'll eat. Let's say I'll eat, right? Two hours, three hours later, I'm going to eat again. Yeah. So I'll be like, okay, fine. When I'm and up, especially with up, you, you have to eat. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll get up now and, I'll, and I'm done. And I'm going to go eat and then that's it. Mm. But I'm not going to come back here. Yeah. I'm not going to come back here. Because I know, like, it that sucks you in and it sucks your life. It it's, does, it's bro. Crazy. And, and I, I, I never used to game. I used to game cool when I was younger, yo. I never used to game, man. Because look, I had a PlayStation 3 and it was like an old thing. And I yeah. mean, I just had it for YouTube and stuff like that. Oh. And a couple of games, even now and again, I never mm. played. But then I bought this thing because my buddies had Xboxes and I was like, fuck it, why not? So now I'm playing like Call of Duty and it's, look, I'm. One cuck. Especially yeah. now with the new Call of Duty that came out. It's a fuck up. I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> I get fucked up all the time. Yeah. But still, it's fun. Mm. And it, and I think the, the lack of part is also you sitting online with your friends, man. Yeah. And we so just talking like cuck kind of with social, each other. Yeah. And now you shoot the guy and you go, go talk cuck with the guy that you just shot that there. And, does, yeah. and it's like, uh, it's... it's uh, yeah. yeah. Like, 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 I don't know, like these days, no, like... I want to be more outdoors now. Like I, mm. I don't, I don't want to sit there even watch series and stuff. Like mm. I like working with my hands. So like, yeah. But like this project that I'm doing now, I'm building my own ice bath. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I went on YouTube. I checked out these structures. Yo, I've really checked Joe watching. Rogan. He loves these ice yeah. baths. Yeah. So like, I bought like a chest freezer, mm. huh? and I'm converting that into like now I I did the cooking yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I have to wait till that to cure properly for seven days. Yeah. And then I have to do the primer, and then. Is it, the primer so did you actually buy a, a working chest freezer Abs to freeze the water? Exactly. An actual chest freezer just for the ice bar. Yeah, says really. Yeah, but I got like, I, I was, I, um, I got like a 2K off it because yeah. they, they, they were on promo. It, huh? was, I, it was just around the time, it was like last week. Yeah, last, yeah, week, yeah. last week Friday actually. Yeah. I got last week Friday. Like I, I was going online, I was checking out. These are expensive for no reason. Mm. Like, what the fuck? And but luckily I saw this one at two K off. I don't know if it was the extension of Black Friday, but it just yeah. said on promo. Oh, okay. So oh, so I, you bought a new? Didn't they buy a second hand? No, no. I was thinking about it. Never I went down this rabbit hole. Like I always get so obsessed with shit. Like I want to research. Even when I bought my couch there, huh? I went, I want to understand different types of leather. I can remember you still me I, it messaged me. <laughs> uh, asked my, me for my opinion. What should you get? <laughs> oh fuck, man! I don't know. I, it's it's I, a mouse. Rabbit hole, like. They, when it comes to leather now, David, you can't boof me, David. No. I know every type of leather. I no. know what leather does, like what, what's full high. How to treat it. What, <laughs> everything, David. I, 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 cream that, I cream that couch as well. No. Like proper cream. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. yeah. And yes, David, so like, true. you see all this cut, like, you know, research. Leather, you're top, top leather, and you all see all, I uh. understand, what does this mean? Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all cut. But anyway, <laughs> same thing with the freezer. I went down to the rabbit hole. I yeah. see a lot of freezers they're selling, like, 
Um, especially the KIC freezers, they always have a problem with the door, man. Like, mm -hmm. can't stay open. Oh, is it? Yeah, and I asked the one guy, electrician, I know this guy, mm -hmm. he worked on my other fridge. So I asked him, like, okay, look, if I want to buy this freezer, what does it mean if the doors can't open? Mm. If the doors can't stay open or whatever. He's like, that's hinges. And I was like, take a picture of the hinges for me. So I, so I t t sent a picture of mm -hmm. the hinge from uh, Marketplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent it to him. He's like, okay, fine, I'll get the price for me. Mm -hmm. That fridge freezer has three hinges, right? Mm -hmm. Each hinge, mm -hmm. plastic fucking hinge. And that's a that's a flaw of the design also, yeah? plastic. Cost two ninety. Four plastic hinges. Three, so and that's got three hinges, right? Yes. And then there must still be labor and call yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So that's gonna be about a thousand rand just to repair it. Yeah. So I was like, nope, I'm not gonna spend that. Like, you know what's buy it, you're gonna come buy a new mm. fridge basically. And then you can't also trust the people, like people will poof you and will tell you the best no, it's the best freeze in the world, but they don't tell you it's been repaired three times yeah. or Look at second hand, man. You, uh, exactly. When you buy you know, it, you take the risk of buying cuck. Exactly. <laughs> so I was like, look, if I buy this freezer on promo, I'll, I'll get 2K off. At least you got a guarantee. It's well, I don't know about you no, poking I've, everything anymore. I've, I've fucked up the guarantee. <laughs> yeah, no, it's moved no, to it's now. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> but at least it's new. It's, it's new. So in theory, it should last it, for a long time. Exactly. So I've got that that's a peace of mind there's no uh, i must go hire a trailer now to yeah. go fucking pick this thing up and i must ask my brother hey you're yes. available can must, yeah. let me go see first if this thing's okay then i must check out all different type of freezers now nah, i'm not happy with this one yeah yeah you're in the photo there's photoshop there's a rust and mm, cut there and, yeah you know what i'm saying now i've got peace of mind it's, it's legit it's, uh. it works so now we've got to do the primer then i've got to do two three coats of this um uh it's called like a, like a pond shield so it's like mm. stuff you use in a pond to Proper like waterproof, yeah, yeah, waterproof seal it and protect it from rust and cack. Okay, yeah. And then, and then I want to build this deck for it as well. So when I get out, to yes, it's gonna be so fancy, like, bro. So like I got these pieces of wood uh? now that I wanna, that I wanna use my bow saw. You're gonna later. Uh, your bow saw. My bow saw. <laughs> I, I, I love that bow saw. Is a pallet wood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pallet exactly, wood, bro. Exactly. You, you can build anything with pallet anything. wood. Anything. <laughs> like I was looking for pallet wood, and then one day like um, there's a construction site that I ran past, man, uh? and I was like, yo, they just. There's just wood pellet wood that you yeah, yeah. throw, throw oh, it inside, man. Throwing it away. Yeah, but then. Because usually you pay for this shit. What, I don't know if they throw it away, but it's like one side. Yeah. It looks like it's but it's on the side, man. Uh -huh. So I was like, yo, like, okay, but no one here. So I came back after my run, and I was like, um, is this, what can I speak to with regard to that wood there, man? Mm -hmm. so to refer me to the site supervisor. Yeah. It's like, yo, like, are you going to throw that away? What's happening with the with pellet yeah. wood? Yeah. She's like, yo, if you want to. You can have as much as you want. Legit. I was like, well, for free. He's like, yeah, like, don't worry. But I can't help you now because I'm busy. Council after three or three. Yeah. So I came there about 10 to three. Did you come with a bucky or a trailer or something? Yeah, man, your car. Ah. So yeah, I don't have a fucking, I don't have a fucking bucky. You know what I mean? So I went, so I went there. Um, so the guy, he saw me coming. Um, he's like, now? I was like, yeah, please, if oh, you can. That was a nice guy at least. Yeah, so yeah. he remembered me. He's like, okay. He's like, okay, fine. What we do is, you walk in with this. Um, it's like a trolley. I don't, I can't explain it, man. Mm, this is mm. stuff they put loads on. With yeah, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. Came with a trolley thing somewhere there. He helped me load it. He showed me. Okay, this is how you pack the pallet wood. Mm. So it's gonna put like a little load on. Yeah. So he's like, he's just throwing stuff, throwing stuff. I'm packing, I'm packing, yes, I'm packing. He asked me to push like it to my car. Help me pack it in the car yeah. and stuff. Pass it on to me. I think he gave me like 50 odd pieces sure. fit all in my car. So it's, 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 yeah, it fits perfectly in my car. Nice, Just enough. man. So now I've got a whole stack of wood. And I, and I, so now, before you came, I was like, thinking, okay, fine, I'm going to use this piece for this mm. part of the deck. <laughs> this piece for this part of the deck. I must, I must measure this so I can get That's this true. and this. And You're going to have to get yourself a circular saw to cut those in. <laughs> Your arms are going to be done that, after cutting that. That, that, that bow saw is fucking amazing. Man. Is it? it shades through a fucking tree branch. Yo, through easy, the shop. David. I love it, David. I love yes. this. Too. I love this to fucking death. I saw anything with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a toothpick, David. Look, you, you won't have to do arms for a couple of days. Because that's going to... You'll have to swap arms. Eh? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Otherwise, your one arm's going to be big and skinny. <laughs> I'm measuring already what I need. I must get also like... like um, just curing for the hood to make yeah. it like waterproofing yeah, yeah, yeah. layer and stuff. Because I want to get out... Like a varnish type Yeah, because I'm going to get out and be wet. So it's going to be dripping yeah. on the wood and stuff. I'm sorted with that. I got that for free. Yeah. Exactly, because yeah. they sell that stuff for a lot these days. Yeah, I, and I've got like the single door fridge that I've had forever. Mm -hmm. and I, I, I'm not, I'm, okay, I've got too many fridges. Yeah, and I, I know, you've got a ton. And I, and I live alone. So I was, and my brother's like, 
he, he wants he wants this that single door. So yeah. I was like, okay, give me one five for it. Yeah. Now I'm using that expenses to buy the, to buy the, uh, because yeah, like so you still charge your brother for fridge. You've got so many. You the, can give it give it to me for free, the, man. The thing is, <laughs> the, the, the the thing is, it's already like. A fridge is like what four and a half. Yeah, no, fridge is not expensive. I'm already giving that fridge. The fridge is not brand new. Uh, so I was <laughs> like, look, you give me one and a half for it, bro. Like you, you can have it. <laughs> you, you, you can't tell me you can't afford this and this and this. You can't tell me to go one to five for the fridge. <laughs> fucking brand new fridge. So a man was, needs to live, man. Yeah, man needs to eat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like so, I was like, because uh, like then then David, you must get like because like, I got like um, an aquarium pump. Mm? Uh, to keep the water circulated. Oh, I didn't even think oxygen. about that now. You and still have to, to... pump oxygen to keep... So it are you going to put like chlorine in it or how is it going to work? Get in there, keep it, oh, okay. get in there. Okay. Then, then I got a temperature controller as well to keep the temperature regulated. Sure. So the machine, so the freezer can like shut off at like let's say 4 degrees. But shouldn't the freezer shut off by itself? Doesn't it have a regulator on it built in? No, you remember it's fridge, chill and freezer. Oh, so it doesn't like, have a temperature. It doesn't, it, you can't set it on the freezer to say, I want two degrees Celsius. Ah, okay. So it's regulated to keep it there. So when mm. it gets two degrees, it shuts it off. If it gets to three, then it goes back on again to get it back to two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it can say power like that as okay, well. Okay, okay. And then I've got a timer for the pump. So the pump doesn't say all day, all day long. Yeah, yeah. So the pump can go on like every like, three hours or something. Like a swimming pool. Type movie, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then you can, if you want, you can get um, a chlorine floating mm -hmm. device. Mm -hmm. You put a tablet in there to keep it. You can ask if you want to go that route and add chemicals. Mm. Um, but the fact that you have the pump, the aquarium pump, and the oxygen that pumps mm -hmm. in there to keep the water circulating, and also has a filter in the pump as yeah. well, it should keep the water clean. But if you want to go right. the extra mile, you can add the chlorine as well. Yeah. Okay. It's a whole, but but it's I mean. A whole project, yeah. Look, I'm not a professional, but like moss and stuff, doesn't it like grow in warm temperatures though? Oh, algae. And Ach, moss algae, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if you if it's going to be a, close to freezing, I mean, it shouldn't grow there anyway. It shouldn't grow. It shouldn't grow. But you want to keep it as clean as possible to, yeah. to prevent infections mm -hmm. and bacteria yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you, you don't want to come in there and one day you somehow get like an STD for no, no reason. From you know fucking what I mean? Like, I didn't even do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even you do nothing. <laughs> babe, I'm telling you, I promise you, babe. What's it mean? I don't know how it's, I got this shit. It's the chest freezer. I promise you. Yeah, I'm sure it's the chest freezer. I know that bitch with the chest. <laughs> <laughs> she told me she was clean. <laughs> she got tested. <laughs> but oh, it, like just to more. prevent, like, like, like you know, yeah. you get those staph infections or... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so you don't want to mm. get... Yeah, because that's, that's actually quite the uh, effort. I thought, I could just put the... Freezer there, and that's it. But no. yeah, there's actually a lot that goes you into can. it. Look, you, you can do the bare minimum. You mm. can put the freezer and just do caulking. Yeah. But like all the YouTube videos. But even the caulking, what's what's a caulking for, really? Because isn't it sealed already? No, it's not. Isn't it the it's freezer sealed on the inside? No, you see at the seams where yeah. the seams at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see like there's like a gap there. So in oh. order to properly make sure that nothing runs out there. On the mm. seams, like... I thought those things were waterproof. No, like, the, this freeze, freezer also has, like, a drain to mm -hmm. drain the excess um, when yeah. you defrost it and stuff. Yes. So you you seal that as well. Ah. You seal that drain just to make sure nothing goes out. Yeah, nothing. yeah, yeah. Waste so, water and whatever. Yeah, so you so you seal... Like, you can't trust that the freezer is just... You have mm. to cork it. Like, I've checked all the videos out. You can do the bare minimum. Yes. But long run, if you want to do the mm. long run, you don't want to repeat the process. They do want it proper, to, yeah. Proper job. Yeah. You know, you do it mm. right the first time, one time. So I was like, fuck, a lot of work. The first time I saw it, I was like, I'm not doing this cuck. <laughs> then, then, remember, like, I don't know, like, I... Two weeks ago, yeah, I got this thing because I always wanted, like, I'd, every morning, like, for a year, or more than a year now, yeah. I've been doing cold showers, right? Mm -hmm. Changed my fucking life. Really? Yo, through winter, that is freezing, every bro. fucking day, especially if winter was hard. Like, and sometimes I'll do it twice a day. Sometimes I'll do it twice a day. But every fucking morning, like clockwork, I'll wake up 3.30 religiously. I'll go in and I'll do a cold shower Yo. every fucking day for a year. I've made the promise to myself, after listening to your podcast, I'll listen to the benefits. How's your heart, bro? I'm sure it takes a couple of years off of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it extends life, bro. Especially in winter. It, I mean, it, it, it extends life. Like, but that shock to the system. I changed my fucking life, bro. Like, literally. Like, I, I, for years now, like, I swear to you, 
I always do shit in the dark. Like I'll yeah. get, I'm not the morning person. Like, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I'm awake. Blah blah yeah. blah blah. Put the mic to him close. Okay, blah blah blah. We must just stretch half ass. Yeah. Does that? It wakes you up. I just want to put on the lights now. Uh. I'm like. I've got, I'm pumped for the day, like I'm excited, mm. I'm like happy. Like, but I think it maybe gives you like an adrenaline rush that does. shocks you, that shock to the body. The, uh. David, it like, it like opens you up, like, and you're like, like in the shower, you're like, <gasps> and you're breathing. But exactly, so you like, hyperventilate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Activate your cardiovascular system. Uh. It's amazing, it's amazing. So now I want to get to the next level. Uh, the ice bath. Be- it's, it's, yeah, especially now because it's summer now. So yes, now, it's now, not warm. Now I've mm. adapted so much, like, it's like, this cold shower's been shit now. It's like, ah, I just, yes, this is nothing. You know what I mean? Like Now, now the ice want... is going to be a fucking shock again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't, 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 don't get me wrong, like, in winter, that that cold shower was yeah. mean. But now that summer's like, ah, you know. Like, yes. when, when I started last year in November, it was mm. kind of warm also. So, so you've was, done it for a year? Yeah, I told you, like, for a full year, more than a year now. Yeah. Every fucking day. We, no matter if, even if I had, like, was sick or whatever. Yeah. Like, I wake up, in the I have to, because I told myself, like, I'm not going to back, I'm not going to give myself that. Well, you're, save, out, uh, well, you're saving on, uh, on, warm, on, on uh, electricity. They don't have to put your geese on. <laughs> David, you must see, like, sometimes, like, let's say at the gym, like, after the gym, like, I'll shower, and uh-huh. then I'll be like, okay, I'm feeling fancy today, let me see if I put water, hot water on. Like, uh-huh. After, like, I'm like, ah, I hate this, this is not nice. Yes. And I put it cold again, and I really? shower and cold. Like, you're not used to the hot water anymore. Even, even today, I was like, oh, well, I went for half marathon today, yeah. and I ran 21K, so I'm like, okay, fine, let me... Put the hot water because I was feeling cold because it was cold today outside. So I was like, let me put this down. I was like, nah, man, it's not right. I put it cold. I put it cold. Like, literally, seriously. Fucking hell. Seriously. I don't know. I, look, during the summertime, like now when it's so hot at night, then I'd still go take a cold shower. But oh, yeah, I, I don't do know. That, I do that too. Look, bro, the fuck, I don't I know do about the mornings or even in winter time. Nah, you you know. must, you must, it will change your life, David. And like two weeks ago, like when I saw, like, because normally I couldn't find, and also the khakis, mm-hmm. like, you don't want to put ice in your bath. Yeah. Every time fill the tub, it's water, you're going to waste water. And you must still fucking buy ice and khakis. And ice is time. Th- exactly. And I was like, no, man. And even if you get an ice machine, I mean, the electricity those things use is a no, lot of. I was like, no, man, I can't use. Then one day, randomly, this ad popped up for this ice plunge, portable ice plunge. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is perfect. This is small, yeah. and I can fill it up, and I'll just put ice in there. Yeah. Two days after using this thing, like I was like, hmm. oh, it was a three day, three days. I'm sitting in there like twelve minutes later. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> oh, <man>. first <laughs> of all, why is this thing? Why is this thing two thousand rand? No, I'm looking at the. Design. Oh, so did you actually buy the well, portable I, I, I one? Bought it, yeah. Huh? Why is it two thousand rand? It doesn't make sense. The design, <laughs> the engineering. This is like fucking like vinyl. No. They slap together. They put some sticks here to keep it stable. <laughs> No, it doesn't make sense. And I'm sitting there and I was like, okay, I still couldn't do it in the morning because well, my, my routine is mornings. Yeah. And I was like, I can only do it in the evenings now because ice, the, all the ice you need, because they come with a thermometer, like mm-hmm. the ice you need to get it below 10 degrees yeah. is a morsel. Is it? Is a morsel. Because you must take into account the room temperature as well because yeah, now yeah, it's yeah. summer. Now, now, whatever the room temperature oh, so is... You need to buy a mood of a lot of ice, like 10 kilograms of ice or no, something. No, but luckily I didn't buy ice. So what I did was uh-huh. I had all these containers, like old ice cream buckets. Oh, and free, yeah, stick, buckets stick it in the freezer. And I, and I had to use another freezer, uh, put on an, another fridge uh-huh. just for ice. Yes. So I had to fill this thing up every day, put water in there. Yeah. Put in there. I was like, and the ice to actually get a solid frozen takes 24 hours. Sure. I was like, no, this is not practical. Because like, now, what if I want to do it twice a day? Mm. I, was like, I can't do this. I you don't even have space. You, you, you <laughs> must tell me I have to wait 24 uh. hours. I can do it again in case I want. I was like, no, no, this is not practical. I got out of there. I packed it up. I drained all the water out. I packed it up. I sent it back. You sent it back? I sent it back. You buy and take a lot? Yes. <laughs> I sent it back. In the beginning, right, when I first did it the first time, I had enough ice. I, it was still like... Nine degrees or something. It yeah. still wasn't, but I was in there for like 12 minutes mm. and it gave me that shivers afterwards, yeah. which is fine. But I was like, I'm not going to sit. I don't have time 12 minutes Just. every fucking day before gym and I must still do my stretches and mobility mm. drills. And I was like, it's going to fuck up my whole morning routine. Two minutes is all I'm supposed to need yeah. to give me that feeling. It is like, be really cold. Yeah, because I'll time myself in the mm-hmm. shower. I'll do the shower. Two minutes. I have yeah. to spend minimum two minutes. 
And then sure. later on, I push it to three minutes. I have to just stand in there. I have to. I have mm. to. I have to. Head, Alice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to. I have to take that shit. I just time Fuck it. Like, no. oh, when is this finished? When is this finished? <laughs> when is this finished? But like, now like, I don't have 12 minutes and then I must do all the extra work. I have to fill up these buckets every time. A lot of admin. <laughs> I'm already spending now extra money because I have to use another fridge, yep. which I didn't have to use. <clears throat> just for fucking ice. I was like, no. And even your water bill now. Because yeah. you have to get ice every day. Yeah, and, and then this thing I must, every t every five days they say I must uh, drain it. Oh, no. Yeah, it yeah no, it's a lot of water and so shit. I was like, no, no, no. This, 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 this is not practical. Mm. Then I was on YouTube, then I saw all these videos, and I was like, these people are fucking out of their minds. A chest freezer? But exactly, I was just thinking, what yeah. the fuck? And then I see this video of Vim, you know Vim off? The ice man. Yes, the guy that, uh, the yes. actual guy. The guy with the beard and yes. the, yeah. And then he, he, he showed me his morning <clears> routine on YouTube and he's in a freezer, just mm. freezer as well. So I was like, yo, okay. it was good enough for the, for the half man. You know, yeah. then I was like, then I, then I checked how to make one and checked yeah. the like, videos thoroughly and what people use. They go through yeah, the whole cool, process man. and tell me all they But YouTube, ups. I mean, YouTube shows you everything. everything. Whatever you want, they'll show yeah. you how to build it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, with a lot of <clears throat> work I've done on my car, like, Fixing stuff. Bro, check a YouTube video. Whoa, I was like, I'm a, I'm a pro mechanic now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I used to, like, this fucking, where's my key? Anyway, car key. Huh? I used to, every time, go to this place to get the battery replaced. Yes, yes, yes. I was like, wait, why am I spending this much money just to have this bra open it? Because I don't have the tool, man. Um, and, and this bra, every time, this battery doesn't last me for, mm. for not even six months. Mm -hmm. some, something isn't right here, man. I'm yeah. every time spend. I go on YouTube. Huh? How to open a battery yeah, yeah. for this thing, this thing. You show me, okay, it's putting the a Phillips screwdriver, screwdriver in to, to twist it in a certain way. I say, okay, fine, I open this battery. I say, okay, well, this is what I need. It can't take a lot. I put some of five <laughs> for the price of one job of for the, it. For the rest of your car's life, you'll have batteries. Exactly. <laughs> and now this battery has been lasting me since forever. Yeah, but they put cuck batteries in me. They do. Because and the same thing happened with my remote. Um, I actually did mine the last time myself, but I bought proper batteries. I bought like Duracell. Oh, yeah. And I think they put in these Chinese fucking yes, batteries. Yes. And then it was like every three months I had to fucking yes, put them in. same thing. And then I had noticed it's literally, again, Philip said, it just flips That's open. Exactly. And I took this thing out, I checked the serial code, and I bought myself a Duracell. Yeah, I bought yeah, Duracell. The this thing's like longer than a year already, yeah. this thing's going. I was like, no, man, this is, this is, this is fucking stupid. No, I must come every time. Now these people, they like, milk you, and they pay like five rand for these batteries exactly. or whatever. And, and their labor cheap, is like, cheap -ass batteries, it takes them 10 minutes, not even 10 not, minutes to do even. it. Not even. I mean, even. You, I used to go to these Pakistani shops, and they oh, used yeah. to do it there for me. Oh, is it? Um, they charge me whatever it is, but I mean, that's exactly, yeah. they use those cuck nah. batteries. Yeah, but but you say, thing. next time I'm here, we're going to jump in the ice bath. Who's we, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Who's we? Who's we? Who's we? Who's we? Yeah, you're gonna, it's going to look a big deep yeah. <laughs> We're going to do a Kevin Hart episode. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's that show he's got for the yeah, ice bath? Ice, uh, I can't even um, what you call it, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I tell you what, if I'm sitting there thinking, I'm not talking, bro. I'm just going to be shivering. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to do all the talking. <laughs> but what I got that set up now, like I'm going to put that there with that deck. And then like on long runs, yeah. let's do a long run, then I'm going to go in the ice. Then I'm going to fill the bath over there with like um, the hot water and like Epsom salt. To kind of yeah, get yeah, yeah. That, that sauna effect, the hot and cold. Oh, so I'm gonna go climb out, from, uh, yeah, yeah, climb in the gonna, cold in the hot. I'm going to go there, yes, back yes. and forth. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that, yeah. Oh, I'm going bro. It's going to be fucking amazing. Home for you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch. <laughs> Say, post a video on YouTube, we'll check. <laughs> Fuck, I can't wait till it's done. But only thing it takes long to for the stuff to dry, man. Mm -hmm. I must, I must, because every time they say, like, on YouTube, like, if, if on the, remember, on the paint, they're going to recommend, let's say, four hours. Yeah, yeah. Say, don't listen to that. Wait for, like, three days for this yeah, to cure to properly. properly yeah. Then you add another coat. Then, mm -hmm. just to make sure, because people talk about all their fuck-ups and they say, mm -hmm. I did this, don't do this. I did yeah. this, don't do this. So it's going to take you, like, a month to actually no, build this thing. Two, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. So seven days from... I did the cooking yesterday, so yesterday was Friday, so next Friday I'll add, okay, yeah, next Friday I'll add primer, Friday night I'll add primer, because the primer mustn't fully cure for 24 hours before mm -hmm. I add the first coat, so, oh. so, so, so they say I must, so I'll do it the Friday night, I'll go for it, and I'll come back early oh, morning. Oh, so it must still be, like, sticky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and then I'll add first coat, first coat takes six hours to dry, mm. I'll do second coat, 
and then I'll do the third coat end of the night. Yeah. And then I have to wait for that to cure for about between seven and fourteen days. Yeah. And once that is done, then I and they say I must wash and rinse it for like three times before mm -hmm. using it, and then I can use it there. Yeah. So end of the year, Fuck officially no. I'll be able to use it. But how it. are you going to rinse it if you if you're covering the plug? So how are you going to get all the water out? You siphon it out. You can either siphon it out or you get or you get a pump. But I'll, yeah. I'm going to siphon it. I'm going to siphon it, yeah. Yeah, old school broom with a pipe. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah. But, the, but the cool thing is, like, because I'm doing the aquarium pump and this and this mm. and this, I don't need to do it every yeah. five days. Like, mm. people be good. people use it for months. Yes, make yes. Make water still clean and stuff. Yeah, exactly. As long as the water's clean, I mean, yeah. it's fine. And also, like, I've got the aquarium net, so if you see a hair particle, you know my long hair, David? I can just scoop it out. Or a little fish. Yeah. And you never know. <laughs> fish like, breed out in this place. You know what I mean. <laughs> and so, so, yeah, like, it's, it's, a, it's quite an interesting process. Yeah, fucking hell no. But it sounds like quite a job, bro. Yes. Yeah, but it's like, I mean, like, I like working with my hands these days. To like, mm. you know, doing the yard work and... Yard that, work. You know, like... Biggie, man. You know, like, <laughs> you know, like it's a very real mansion. We're really adulting <laughs> in, this, uh, in these streets. <laughs> Yard work and building <laughs> you know, shit. And so, so I would rather do that now than fucking watch series yeah. and fucking waste my mm. life. Just let me run in the TV. Ah, it is, man. It's good. But you enjoy these things, man. Yeah, man. I enjoy my... Well, not that I watch series anymore. Fuck. Once you have a child, bro, you don't watch four core. Yeah. They watch everything. I can't imagine. They that. watch everything, bro. They take over the TV. That's why I, when I game... And I think that's also why I game so late sometimes. Because I only start oh, like at eight. She goes sleep. Yeah, when she sleeps, she goes to bed at eight. So I can only start then. Yeah, Because um, like the rest of the day, I like spend time with her and mm. her mother and whatever. And then once it's now time for everyone to go chill, yeah. we're done eating, and I put on my games. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. Maar lekker, bro. It's lekker. Yo, dit is fucking warm, nee. I'm sweating balls, yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> my my back is like I was, wet. I was like, is it just me or what? Like, ah, my yeah. back is sopping this yeah. chair, bro. You left yeah. disinfected. <laughs> <laughs> some, some chlorine. Before Nick and someone else comes, he goes, oh, my, oh, my sweat's all <laughs> over this chair. Yeah. Yeah. But David, thanks so much for coming. Back right. to the streets. Thanks for inviting me again, man. Yes, I think I'm, uh, I'm the most popular guest here, it seems. Because I'm here every two months. <laughs> I hope this episode, they're not going to come off to you. Well, I didn't really say anything no, bad this no, episode. No, we, we, kept, we, we kept pleasant. Yeah, we it kept it PG. Yeah, we kept it PG mostly. Mostly, yeah. Mostly, yeah. <laughs> no, but thanks for having me. It was, uh, it was like a man. I always enjoy it. I That's always fun. enjoy coming on here, talking cuck. And Thank you. I, I, I'm glad Having a good time. It. Next time... Uh, yeah, we'll have a couple of beers, especially in this heat. I put my cooler box next to me, I, I my have, ice. I, I could have offered you whiskey. Yeah, yes. I'm going to have a story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going to happen next time? Oh, we'll see. <laughs> Uber. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll deal yeah. with it when we get there. <laughs> when we get there. <laughs> but yeah, I know. It was awesome. Thanks, thanks a so lot. Much. And you obviously don't want people to find you in these streets. Nope. Okay. I'm uh, anonymous. Anonymous. <laughs> there you have it. David's anonymous. Thank you so much, man. How long was that anyway? It's probably like yes, it's like three hours. hours. Sure. It's just under three hours. Could be the longest podcast ever that, yeah. that we've done. No. Yeah. <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much, man. I wish you all the best for Christmas. Yeah, Christmas is coming up. It's almost Christmas. Yeah, yeah it really is. Yeah. It's like less than a month. Yeah, man. So like two weeks with three weeks. Did you guys also have big lunches and stuff? Okay. Yeah. Usually on Christmas we've got like a leg of lamb and oh, nice. chicken and. Sweet potato and fried potatoes and rice and and, and church. You go to church? No. Okay. You know I'm not. I don't yeah. do the church. No, I, I just, don't do I, the religious I, I, thing, I just, man. I just imagine, like, on Christmas, the special like the special occasions. No, nah, oh, okay. I'm still I'm still so out of it. No, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I, but yeah, I still don't go. I know. Look for me, Christmas is just. You know, you're starting a podcast again. <laughs> but Christmas is just to spend with my family and appreciate yeah. each other and things yeah. like that. I when I stop going to. And I stopped basically being religious, so mm, to speak. Mm. Like, and then I started like doing other things on Christmas. I go to the mountain, yeah, to the beach and stuff. I was programmed for so long to believe that everyone celebrates it in the same way. Everyone goes to church, exactly. Everyone has a big family lunch together. Uh, we all sit and whole day we eat and we just is. chat. And when I, I was when I went out like in the streets like Christmas Day, I was like, there's like a whole new world. Like, exactly. Other people doing the same shit. They, but exactly, like everyone celebrates their own way. Yeah. Or oh, some people don't even celebrate, and it's no, such and a, it's fine. It's such, I was like, I've been lied to all this time. I was like, mm. wow. No, we still we still have the big lunch. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I just see it as a family day, really. Yeah. And I, and I yeah. Obviously, it's still buy like my the, daughter presents and yeah, my wife and whatever, yeah. but it's just, just spend with the family, just yeah. catch up. It's nothing religious to us, really, because mm, we're not it's religious. It's a family day. Yeah. But it's exactly. nice to just catch up and have a family day. Everyone's exactly. just focused around the family. Exactly, bro. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes this year. We haven't planned anything yet, really, Is but it? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. It usually, we plan it as we go. Yeah. But I know there's going to be trifle. Oh, bro, oh, trifle. Shit. I love a trifle. Oh, a shit. sticky trifle. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a trifle has its place. But I, in this world. The thing is, and it's only December, bro. Only Christmas that yeah. I make trifle. I, I never, and no one else ever makes trifle wa- unless it's Christmas. I wonder why. It is. Or, or even make gammon. I don't know if you guys make gammon. Like. I don't like it, man. It's too salty. It's very salty. Yeah, I don't yeah. like the salt. In it. I mm. like salt, but I mean, it's just too salty for me. And it's nothing and, against pork. I love mm. pork. But and I, yeah. And not everybody can make it properly also. Yeah. People make it too dry mostly. And even tongue. I don't mm. eat tongue. Oh, no. Nah. After I saw how, how it looks when, in the, when it's in the pot, mm. like an actual tongue, I was like, no, thank you. And that skin that they have to take on. Oh, that yeah, shit freaked me out when I was a lighty. And no. I saw it, I was like, no. No, just give me meat. I don't fuck around I, with these tongues I and don't know hooves really, and cock like that. I don't know like really a tongue. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I just what has that thing been looking? I've seen a cow, bro. He licks a whole lot of other cock. He licks an ass. <laughs> Anyway, yes, as we are going to be a podcast. But anyway, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Dave. Once again, thank you. It was good. <laughs> this was fun. I really enjoyed this conversation. It was, man. But it's always fun when I'm here. Yeah. Uh, we always talk a whole lot. Of, like I told you earlier on, we, I come here and I'm like, yeah, what are we going to talk about today? <laughs> and we just go. And then we sit here for two hours, three hours. <laughs> and it's just... Yeah. But it was fuck, fun. it doesn't stop. We have to force ourselves to stop. Yeah, we have to. Because we've got kids, we've got responsibilities. Yeah. I've got I've got a chest freezer and a deck to bowl. You need to eat. What you what you doing out in these streets, lay rule? What you doing out in these streets? What you doing out? What you what you doing out? What you what you doing out in these streets? What you doing out in these streets, lay rule? We in these streets.